the bigger story for me was was Lance Stevenson, uh, 30 ball. Um, and I see in the chat that he had five the night before he did, but you just got to understand, I respect Lance Grind more than I respect Kyrie's because Kyrie's has so many flaws into it leading up to his reasoning behind it, why he did what he did, letting down his teammates. 99.9% .9 of the NBA took the vaccine. He was the one that didn't. Great stance, Kyrie, not on you. I respect Lance much more after working out with him maybe 100 plus times, open gyms. And by the way, Lance Stevenson looks like LeBron James in open gyms. It's, it's really crazy. It's almost unguardable. Starting it is started at the play a choice way Green lights supercharge on the play a choice way Got shot, got joy, got deal, got jay Let a mic on get it started at the play a choice way Yo, what is up, casuals? Oh, wow. My mic was banging right there. I need to stop yelling. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Welcome. Welcome, players. Joyce. What's up? How's everybody hello. doing? We good. Hello, world. Not bad, man. What's up, casuals? Oh, wow. I'm good. Oh, okay. Um, Just to clear up a few things um, <laughs> for the hello, YouTube hello, chat. Hello. Um, What do I want to say? Why do we... Can you guys hear uh, that? I heard so, that too. Hello. Yeah, I didn't I, hear. But I can I hear listening. my hello world. Not bad, man. Dude, that's what the heck? What? Oh, that's a crazy delay. Echo. Yeah, why is that coming through my head headphones? I'm not getting anything. Is it? Is that on me, JD? You are like pushing audio over here, and it is insane. I can hear my. Like, right, are you now? listening to the YouTube <laughs> or something? <laughs> that's why I'm trying to let them know that there is a delay. Um, wow, by maybe <laughs> that was insane. Yeah, shout out to everyone watching on Twitch on YouTube. Shout out to I'm So Godly for resubbing. You only have the Twitch chat, Twitch chat up. No, I don't. I promise you, mm. I don't. All right. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, Dale still is out. Um, he's dealing with some personal issues, so shout out to Dale. Um, why he's getting through this. Um, Leron, Leron bailed on the show. What was it, an hour before, 45 minutes before, per usual? Nothing new there. Um, uh, any news from the weekend while we wait for the fifth person to join, our fifth guest? Also, really quick, shout out to Jordan Lembeck, resub. Four months, he said, four months for the best podcast on earth. I do not have any news. Right. A a Shaq general, a Shaq Army general joining the show. He sometimes gets out of ranks, but I mean, <laughs> he always comes back home. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can respect it. Dub, you were getting killed in the YouTube comments this this um this it past round. How you feel about that? It ain't nothing, bro. As I joined Clubhouse because you know you guys have a lot to say on the comments. But then when we take it to the clubhouse, is as if, you know, all that heat is out of the window. So I reiterated my statement in the clubhouse, and a lot of people was in agreements. So I'm going to just leave it at that. You so know, I, got... I, I snuck a listen. I snuck a listen. And you definitely, you know what I mean? The the little ringleader of the clubhouse, man. That was definitely a bunch of double <laughs> in the mix, man. <laughs> you feel me? You feel me? That's how it goes. So bunch like, of if, gremlins. You got, if you guys want to... If you guys want to debate and everything, you guys disagree, go ahead. Take it to the clubhouse. If you guys think I'm wrong, bring it. But nobody told me I was wrong on that clubhouse, so just letting y'all know that. <laughs> yeah, about that. Um, and as far as um, all you Dell minions out there, stay tuned. Dell was highly upset about last episode. Um, he let us know about it in the group chat, which I thought was funny. He had a lot of mute points. <laughs> Yo, I um, was in tears listening to those audio, <laughs> <laughs> audio messages. Oh, can we play one of them? Let's I think he was taking a shower. I want to play the Carl Anthony Towns one. It's so funny. Uh, <laughs> you can play. You can play as <laughs> any of them that you want. I'm going um, to play the first one because it was the best. Because I was like... Is he about to like get in his feels right here? <laughs> it's the funniest. <laughs> Listen to this. I could honestly say, guys, by looking back, 
I'm in the beginning of of the um just take my time my my um my head off of some things. I'm at the beginning of the conversation of the Carl Anthony Towns watching it. And I cannot believe you guys let Shaq go that far. <laughs> the fact that he's considering Zach Levine a winner now. I don't know if it's being said, I just paused it to say this. The fact that he's considered Zach Levine the winner, the fact of this even argument is a whole contradiction <laughs> of his empty stats. Let me even bring up Damian Lillard name after you say Zach Levine based on what Dame has done. Bring up anyone compared to what Zach Levine is doing and calling him a winner off of just this base here is the, the biggest contradiction I've heard. So I'm going to stop this voice note and go back and listen. And you'll probably be hearing another one of me coming up shortly. Because Shaq never stops. And that's what we love about him. The editing. Like, hey, I'll be back. But uh, there's about four more of those. Um, <laughs> and yes, that brought me enjoyment. Oh, yeah, I'd like there to walk up in as well. Uh, There's a like few it. things that you should probably walk back this episode. Uh, before you do, shout out to all the YouTube um, listeners coming into the coming into the live. Go ahead, Dub. Um, you know, y'all posted on TikTok. I said that Zach Levine was a winner. That's my bad. I didn't mean to say that. I'm gonna walk wow. that one back. <laughs> wow! And you boasted your entire argument off of that too. Of what? Mm -hmm. That Zach Levine is a winner? I mean, the point that you were trying to make, you was like, and then Shaq tried to, you know, get you in the corner, and then with the Zach Levine uh, question, and you was like, oh, no, nah, no, nah, he good. Uh, bro, honestly, I saw, I, in, that, in that heat in the moment, <laughs> I was in the corner, bro. I was just talking right <laughs> there. I ain't gonna lie or nothing. I was talking right there. But Zach Levine, even in my mind, even as I said, I was like, did I really just say that? But I just let it rock. Hey, yeah. yo, look who's joining us. Mr. Light out himself. Uh, M Light out, we're live. Light out, we're live. Light out, we're live. We're live. <laughs> and Betsy, we're live. Oh, what's up? Thank what's up? For the, <laughs> thank you for the three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> oh, my God. What's good, Light out? I'm good. I made it last minute, but I'm good, man. Thank How you. about you guys? Yeah, thank you for joining us last minute. We appreciate it. No Can't problem. wait to roast you. Why? <laughs> no reason. <laughs> Dub, um, are you having any um, beverages today? Adult beverages? Do you want to? I mean, I I, I have practice in a few hours, but I wouldn't uh, mind if you did. No, 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 no. <laughs> last episode, last mess episode, I mixed and I was getting lost in some of the conversations. I can't I can't afford that today. It was you the actually, Casamigos. You... <laughs> <laughs> that that capital tequila, bro, is different, man. I was gulping that down like light out is right now. <laughs> oh, are you? A... <laughs> what yeah, don't drink ever say tequila. that again. Come on, yeah, I'm talking about crazy. tequila, bro. Stop it. <laughs> Yo, gulping it down is crazy. <laughs> wow. And that's how we drink tequila, bro. Um. But Dub, I will sing your praises. Um, I wouldn't prefer anybody else in that seat um, other than you. I, I would let you know that. I know everybody in the comment section is lobbying for Dub to be replaced. I refuse to let that happen. Um, Dub's in a very unique situation. Same with Light Out. Um, a couple, a couple up and coming young guys. Um, Light Out, and I mean, he's already insane on TikTok. Um, but as far as the the podcast is seen, he's growing over there in new rivals. Um, and I I love to see it, you know. There there's a few podcasters and personalities that I hate. Um oh, we couldn't tell. Th no. That oh, I mean, I haven't brought them up in a while. It's just funny. Um, I'll get to the people on TikTok in the comments in a second. Um, but the 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 guys that have came up with players' choice and stay down, us us other panelists are pushing 30, past 30. I'm entering my prime. I think my prime is going to be 40. It scares the hell out of me, but I think my prime is going to be 40. Um, but yeah, to see Dub coming in, learning the game, taking over Players' Choice Gridiron, editing up clips, doing a lot more than what you guys are doing in the comments. I love to see it. So, rag, Dub. Um, <laughs> yeah, Dub, I'm, I'm always in your corner. You're learning the game. Um, you've missed well, one you. episode since being here. Um, thank you guys so for teaching me everything as well, you know? 
you know, you guys give me the opportunity and giving me the helping hand that you guys have offered, you know, thank you for that as well. Dub, I honestly think you're going to be one of the scariest guys. Like, I, like when I think of Frankenstein and like proteges, I'm like, Dub has the potential to be really scary because he's learning, <laughs> he's learning a lot in a year. So when you branch out or start your own show and do your own thing, of course, I'm going to be your biggest fan. Um, but mm -hmm. yeah, man. I, I appreciate you tapping in. I don't I don't want you to think that it's all people knocking you because there's hundreds of people that love you that probably don't put it in the comments. And we all love you. Just poking fun. I don't think anybody's serious. I see all the com I see some of the comments and a lot of people be like, Yeah, love dub. Hate his fucking takes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> such a such a cool guy, but I just hated what he talks about basketball. I don't think <laughs> I've ever seen a comment that says such a cool guy, but I've seen it. I've seen Gar it. <laughs> no, I, I've, I've seen it a couple times. <laughs> and Garb the Fist has said Frankenstein. Who was the doctor? Was it Dr. Kevorkian or am I mixing these up? I know Garb the Fist is like a cartoon guy because Garb the Fist is a cartoon character. Learn that out because of him. But whoever was the doctor creating Frankenstein, and you're like, you don't know what you're creating. Until Frankenstein. Frankenstein that was Dr. the doctor. Dr. Frankenstein. Yeah, that, oh, <laughs> he created himself. Yeah, there's a castle, castle in Germany too. Frankenstein, uh, yeah. The Frankenstein made, castle. Yeah, Frankenstein That's a, that's a real dude. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know Frankenstein created himself. That's fire. I that's thought fire. there was like a doctor in the, in there that pulled the levers, but all right, my bad. Um, no, 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 it, it is the doctor that created the monster, but the monster is Frankenstein's monster. Really, the so, doctor itself. I got you. It's Frankenstein. You know what I'm it's right. the, yeah, his name is I'm Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Right. Oh, okay. And he, he, I'm Frankenstein. He created Frankenstein. There you go. <laughs> Jack is Doctor Frankenstein. <laughs> There's only one comment. One comment I saw in the YouTube that said, "Bro, seeing Ron back is like seeing your cousin in the family reunion, but seeing Lighthouse is like an oh, here we go again." I'm like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, you, you guys in the comments um saying that you guys would there was one guy specifically i need to start screenshotting these comments that said he would roast me in an nba um debate and this is my rebuttal to that it is so easy to think that you're going to roast somebody while you're sitting at the crib able to you know calmly they pause back, pause you know, the fine. video they're like wait hold on let me go look at that those stats let that, me go look at that game five what that too. But when you're sitting there and you can think it's one thing, but when you actually get in the hot seat, I promise you on live, that 15 seconds feels like three minutes when you're trying to think of, oh, what was that stat? What was that? It's not the same. But if anybody, I am extending the invitation to any viewer out there, anybody who wants to come on the show, just let me know in the comments in, on, from Spotify, from YouTube, but please don't get in front of the camera and freeze up. And if you do, I'll still love you. That's I've big. seen it happen to the best of men. That's big facts, especially like I'll be I'll be looking back at some of the stuff and I'm like, yo, why didn't I say this? Why didn't I say that? You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. it is what it is. And man. the best um, the best panelist is the chat by far. They are undefeated because if one person writes it wrong, <laughs> the next person's going to yeah. correct them. Jack, I am here for an episode and calling it the gauntlet episode where we literally have people lined up and we send them the link and then we just get one topic. If they're just in. if they're just dookie and the chat's telling them to get him out we just throw him on like, the call and next <laughs> next time i like that. also episode also if you have a favorite nba team and you're not afraid to come on um the show for five to or for a few segments for a segment talking about your team and what's going on i would love to um have um a detroit pistons correspondent or what's the or orlando what the magic correspondent exactly that's why that's why we need correspondence for these teams to come in and, and give us an update because i don't i don't know what's going on in the bottom of the league except for a minute well minnesota's well, not the bottom detroit detroit's been battling injuries and covid as well so it's like they really haven't been 100 i want to know what kind healthy. of like promos they got going on trying to sell tickets you know oh <laughs> yeah like they got some two for ones going on or yeah, that's amazing. I remember when Philly, the first NBA I went to was Philly when they had like Michael Carter Williams, uh, KJ McDaniels, and they were just absolutely trash. We're slight working in the league. Got tickets to watch the game, and I was with a Philly fan. And he was like, Yeah, the only reason we're getting these good seats because they're absolutely garbage. He said, We're not going to be good for years to come, man. He said, It's just terrible. <laughs> terrible. Okay. Uh, really quick before we get started, Light Out, are you up to speed? 
Yeah, I'm reading the the the, the doc right now all right, as y'all cool. talking. Cool. Yeah. Bowery. Um. A few minutes ago, all right, I might have already shouted you out, but anyway, I'm shouting you out again if I did. Uh, thank you for the resub. Are we we good to go over here? Jack, do you have anything? Uh, else and by the way, if you're on YouTube, it's it, it's probably a much better feeling to go to Twitch. Um, but I know how it is to try to convert people over. Um, but if you are a YouTube viewer and you want to chat, you should probably create a Twitch account to follow us on Twitch if you want to stay a few seconds ahead. But if not, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> okay. and, right. and by the way i i just have one more gripe about yo last night for the first time in maybe four to five months i decided to get mcdonald's like it was just a whole thing i walk into the locker room because you know we had covid protocols we had a bunch of guys out with covid so it was everybody's first time back and i just hear yo um i guess i'm about to sweat out all this mcdonald's and i was like you feel the animals are eating McDonald's during the season. And a lot of people do, but just my mind never goes there. Like I eat other bad things. Um, but McDonald's is just like the ultimate sin to me. Every time I think of McDonald's, I think I'm going to die in the morning just because. <laughs> so I'm just like, I get home after the workout, I'm exhausted. I'm like, you know, I'm about to order some McDonald's and ordering McDonald's over here is the same as ordering McDonald's on Uber Eats. It's a terrible thought it's just like why would i do this to myself <laughs> the food's probably going to be cold the mcduggets are not going to be the same and i was vegan for a year and i'm trying to get back to that i had a full year where i didn't eat meat i wouldn't say vegan i was pescatarian i just ate fish salmon um and seafood and the year after because i'm trying to get back to that i had that summer fourth of july and everything just came rushing back those 29 years before me was like this is what you're used to my brother just eat and now I can't get back on the straight and narrow to the point where last night I order McDonald's, the Big Mac comes, I pick up the box out of the bag. And what's the first thing that happens? The top fucking meat, uh, the whatever you want to call it, Paul's, the top slice of the bun just falls into the couch. <laughs> it, it, it oh, fell straight. Damn, down. bro. <laughs> but it was like, it was like, or it was, it was probably like, 20% on the couch, 80% still on the receipt, which is another thing during COVID. And I had to sit there and say, damn, am I about to eat this one? Or am I going to put it back together and give it to my wife? And at that moment, in Yo, my, friends, I, yeah. my wife says, I ordered the one with no onions. I look over to other Big Mac. There's a white slit on it and it's in Greek, but I assumed it says no onions. And my wife can, can read Greek. So I'm I'm like, what does that say? And she's like, see that word right there it says onions. And I just looked down at the other big <laughs> pack and was like, I guess we're doing that. And then I cuddled up and we ordered like 20 nuggets and I ate like 16 of them because I couldn't eat the one half of the of the Big Mac. But it was a horrible experience. But the strawberry shake was amazing. Oh. <laughs> it, it, it was it was amazing. And then on top of that, we've been watching Marvel because it's been quarantine. I just got to get this off. For eight days, we've been in quarantine, no practices, the entire team. So we've been catching up on all the uh, Marvel series. We've been watching it in order. I'm literally saving Guardians of the Galaxy. Like, ah, oh, when we get there, she's going to love this movie. It's going to be, that was like my introduction to Marvel because right. it was one of those right. Marvel movies where you could watch and you didn't really need the storyline behind you know, it. Mm -hmm. And then I, I'm playing it. The first, the first movie, you know how you got somebody's attention. Captain Marvel, women's rights, she's locked in. Iron Man's, this is the, Robert Downey is the greatest actor to her. Thor, she loves Thor. I mean, what wife doesn't love Thor? <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> the baby's whimpering, I gotta go get him and do all of this nonsense. Guardians of the Galaxy, I've waited an entire week for this. I step up to the plate, I play it. She's over there doing nail appointments. <laughs> She's getting everything on text in her mom. They're talking in Turkish. I'm like, yo, what, what is going on? This is the best Marvel movie, in my opinion. Internet movie database, I think it's like a 7.9. How could you just act like, at the end of it, she's like, I guess we're going to bed. Bro, usually she is sitting there fighting tooth and nail to watch another movie. And I'm like, yo, did you, did you, not, like, did you not like this movie? And she looks at me and says, I just don't think that these characters are authentic to the Marvel. <laughs> like, oh, oh, that's crazy. Like, 
I'm like, there, there's, there's no way. We watched the Hulk from 1991 and you were sitting there because we rate the movies together. So it's like, we both do out of five and then we add it up. I think she gave the Hulk like a 3.9 out of five. I'm like, this is probably the worst Marvel movie ever. <laughs> the uh, the, the Hulk, Hulk was actually an underrated movie, honestly. Oh, it was. I, I, which I, one? Should, which one? Watch it again. Before Wait. they switch the character, I guess it's the only one. It's the first. Yeah, yeah. The I mean, there's one. one. Okay. I thought that was very underrated. I actually really enjoyed it. Wait, uh, we're talking about the Hulk, right? Yeah, the, yeah, the Incredible Hulk. Hulk. The Incredible Hulk. Wait, how do you say, how do you say Shaq? Hulk? The Incredible oh, okay. Hulk? Okay. I, I, was, I was understanding Yo, Hawk. I'm like, Shaq. what? Uh, yeah, but maybe. I'm not, yeah. I'm not sure how it works over there in Greece, but you're going to have to deport her, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but to shoot her some bail, we watched the second Guardians of the Galaxy. She was, and she was very upset she didn't follow the first one. So I was the like, okay. The first one was better, this, in my opinion. I mean, the, the second one, sorry. Oh, the second one? She likes the sentimental chords and stuff like that and being strung along. I'm like, what is crazier than I am group dying? Like, what is that? Yeah, right. yeah I'm mm-hmm. dying, but okay. Mm-hmm. But okay. Wow. I, I don't know. I mean, I can thing. understand it, though, because if you're not into the MCU like that, and despite the Hulk, because the Hulk is like a like a pop culture icon, you know what I mean? From the 80s, mm-hmm. when they had the TV show and everything like that, like that even, you know, was played overseas and stuff like that, because I, I grew up overseas and I, you know what I mean? I remember that. What I'm saying is when I first watched Guardians of the Galaxy, I had a similar sentiment, whereas like, dog, why is it like all these like creatures in this now? You know what I mean? <laughs> because I've only seen like human characters before, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So it took me a while to get used to it. But now like that I'm in it, hands down, Guardians of the Galaxy is up there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. When I see Guardians I still... of the Galaxy, oh, my bad. When I seen Guardians of the Galaxy, I first went into it like, this is about to be trash. This is about to be one of the worst movies that they've ever made. And then, um, then I actually watched it and taking my mind out of the whole Marvel thing and just looked at the movie as a movie itself and not try to connect it to Marvel. I was like, I was pretty entertaining movie and I really liked that. I really enjoyed it. Honestly, yeah, the soundtrack saved it though. Hmm? Drag? Yeah, that's true too. It didn't save it, but it boy did it bolster it. Yeah. I yeah y'all watched, uh... like, it's not the same. It's not the same without that yeah. soundtrack, of course, dub. I mean uh Euro. Yeah. Yo, watch uh, No Way Home? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. No, no, no. no. Do do I'm Amazing. watching them. In the- <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, you haven't seen it, Shaq? You haven't seen it? I got a, I got a ways to go. Okay, okay. I'm not going to say it. Yeah, yeah. Shaq, bro, you got to. Bro, just skip everything and just go watch that. Because you don't need the storyline <laughs> or nothing, bro. Just, bro. Just go watch I, I like, it. Bro. I appreciate the storyline almost to the point where I feel I should have watched it how Marvel intended. Just because there's a bunch of things that. Like my wife's brain works differently than mine. Like she's able to catch up on every single nuance of, okay, they're trying to tell us this right here versus me. I'm like, damn, I got to think about this. What is movie is this from? I've seen a few in the other movie, but we watched um, the Shang-He because it was uh, Shang. Um, it Shang-Chi. was when we talked about it. Yeah. On the, on the episode. So that was the first Marvel movie that we watched together. And then we're like, you know, we're going to watch them all. But I wish we would have watched them how Marvel intended in their stages, because it's a lot of things that they put together in uh, similar movies. But, yo, watching the Hulk first and not seeing Samuel Jackson in that movie was weird, but it had Nick Fury references uh, throughout it. (laughs) But to me, Captain Marvel, to me, that is probably the most underrated Marvel film. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy. (laughs) Got the... It, it, it's really it's really nuts to me that's I, my favorite one i can't i can't rank that high i like i have it. I like my, it my number one my number one pet peeve when i see like action movies is when the stunt double is athletic obviously and the actor is not and she when she runs and then when i see the stunt double run you know what i mean like when they pan the camera from like a different mm-hmm. angle it's like behind her or whatever it's two different mm-hmm. people like my mind, I can't get no. over that. I, I just can't get no, over that. I'm just like, no way. I, I, didn't. I promise you. I've never yeah. noticed that. I've <laughs> never oh my god! That. Every movie is like this. Every movie is like this, fam. It's a movie just like, oh my god! Yeah, well, you got a, you got a good eye, bro. <laughs> because I, no, 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 no. This is something. This is something <laughs> that once you notice it. Right listen, listen. This is something that once you and y'all gonna hate me even more because now this is gonna be in your head. And now you're going to be watching it with that in exactly. mind. I don't want to hear this. And it's going to be a wrap. I want to enjoy the movie. I don't want to hear this. 
If I'm <laughs> suffering, y'all suffering. We in this together, <laughs> goddamn. <laughs> You're amazing. Uh, Yo, that's crazy. That the, is crazy. The, <laughs> I hope I don't make that reference when I'm looking at the next because every single thing in the last three and a half years since I met my wife has been subtitled. And it's like she learned, she was self taught English from watching shows like Friends growing up and stuff like that. So her English is nice, but she was talking Turkish her whole life. So when she met me, she had to switch the gear. Now she speaks English 90% of her life. And now, you know, she got all the slang, be talking shit, all the whoop de woo. But not, like every single movie, show, anything is subtitles. So now I'm glued to the subtitles. And it's like, like what JD said, watching a stand up with subtitles seeing the punchline before Bro, he said and that and is I'm such just a cracking sin. up laughing it's such a sin <laughs> yeah <laughs> like you're know. literally ruining the comedic timing bro <laughs> it's so dumb <laughs> i couldn't believe it i come downstairs in vegas and there's there's a stand up on and Shaq's watching i'm like oh who what is this it was like dave Chappelle or something maybe it wasn't it was it was a stand up no, no, no. regarding um, it was uh, it was it was um, um um who's that guy he just had another stand up but keep finishing i'll think of so it. Good, good comedian, regardless. And I was like, oh, dope. This, this is nice to just, like, hang out and watch in the morning, whatever. I think it's either morning or, you know, early afternoon, just kind of getting up and chilling. And then I see subtitles are on the screen. And I'm like, oh, this must be a mistake. <laughs> Yo, uh, <laughs> hey, let me turn the subtitles off. Shaq's like, whoa, whoa. Uh, <laughs> no, no. I, I watch everything with subtitles on. I'm like, but this is, this is a stand-up, Shaq. And he's like. I watch everything with subtitles. <laughs> and I'm like, you realize you're just ruining the jokes. Like you're gonna read the jokes before they be they're said, and you have no idea how he's gonna deliver it. So this is the worst experience. <laughs> like, like, I'm like JD hands off. I've seen this stand up ten times. It's me and my wife's favorite comedian. But do not turn those subtitles off because she's pregnant right now, and I don't want to deal with that. So I'm just like JD grabs the Jerry Sailors and like, yo, this is a horrible experience. <laughs> I can just see it on his face. It's like ten in the morning. <laughs> it was so bad. That's uh, crazy. All right. Anyway, um, shout out to everyone joining us on. Both platforms, um, if you're just now joining us, we haven't even talked hoop yet, but we're about to jump right in right now with something that you've probably never seen on any other platform unless they watch us and then they steal it. So here we go with the best second option <laughs> draft. Did you like that, Shaq? Yeah, dude, I, I actually did. I really had a ramp plan, but I'm glad the marble replaced that because... I, I'm not going to get into it with you TikTok guys. Um, <laughs> not today. Not today. But go pick up a basketball and just chuck it at the rim and see how hard it is. <laughs> right. I, I just okay. never understood how the people, that's like me going on a flight, right? <laughs> me on a flight and telling the pilot, yo, you should do this. You should do that. Your suggestions are good from the emergency row, but it's a lot of intricacies that you don't know about up here. Just letting you guys know in the comments bashing me for my hot takes everybody has hot takes chat go you ahead seeing go ahead and pick oh, pick the draft uh order oh, JD i thought you were gonna say pick the podcast i was i was gonna do it <laughs> <laughs> jd shack euro dub light out uh we got king kobe with order um we can do with that one we can do with that one he let it off first let's go with that one and really quick if you weren't here for the last one or you haven't watched the last episode yet we did this on the last show best second option draft you have to pick the best second option with with that player that's in the row so for example jimmy butler you would pick a second option that you think would be best with jimmy butler but you also have to make in your column you have to get a nice team of five as well so you're going to be rated based on the second option as well as your team gotcha not gave me hate for the last one i had i had a crazy squad man not crazy not y'all. I'm talking about the, the chat. Um, I wish we kept score for, and, and sorry about the cough. I worked out for the first time um, in a week, and I was like, God damn. In the first six minutes, they, they literally stopped the workout and was like, yo, Shaq, it's a lot of people in here, but are you okay? And my hands are on my <laughs> knees, and I'm like, Christmas was crazy. New Year's was crazy. We were quarantined. This is like a, a athlete's dream to have a vacation during Christmas and New Year's for the first time in 15 years, so y'all can kiss my ass. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but for this second option draft, last time we did all-time, this is current players only. 
Ooh, all right. Oh, Bet. man. And let me take it a step further and clarify. Shaq, can we use injured players that are currently active, yeah. though? Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's all right. go. Euro, it's on so, you. So, yeah, I got a question, man. So, if, if I was to pick in the Draymond uh, Green row. Yep. It has to be a player that is obviously worse than him, like a lower option than him, right? No, you can no. pick any player. I'm a pick superstar. Steph, everybody, is Euro first? Wait, yeah. Euro's first? Yeah, yeah. Euro's first. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm a pick, Steph. Then you already know. <laughs> Light out. Oh, I'm second. So we got Clay. Uh, oh, okay. I'm gonna go LeBron James for Clay Thompson. Uh, who's third? Damn, it's me. And I'm going to go – I'm going to go Giannis with Clay. Yes. Thank God. I'm going to pick probably one of the few players who could play with Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant with Russell Westbrook. That's good. Oh, man, this is, this is sticky. Who do I want to pick right here? Oh, I don't have a choice. Um, I will pick Kevin Durant with. I said, can't. I, I pick KD. Dubs after me though. Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> no! Wow, Dub, a little. Oh my that's god, Man, that sucks, bro. Wow. That really that is, sucks. I don't. I, oh I, I don't. my god. Okay, I, I will keep Kevin Durant with Russell Westbrook because Dub, that is an amazing <laughs> idea, actually. Thank oh you. my god, Yo, Dub. Of all people, bro. of everyone who does drafts, who's ever done drafts, you are always making mistakes <laughs> every single and, time um we have a we have a um um somebody said change the draft name to best duo draft i know you've seen that jd but i don't care what you do um dub it's on you you got two picks i didn't even see that is that what you want to call it i i i mean best second option draft is kind of wild and i just kept that from a few drafts ago but best, i don't know i don't care what it's called let's do a draft oh, man. Then. i'll pick Oh my God, I'm so mad at myself. I'll pick KD. I mean, not KD. I'll pick Kawhi with Jimmy Butler. Mm -hmm. I like it. And then with Zach Levine. Uh, I'll pick. Uh, I'll pick Jokic with Zach Levine. Good pick. Yeah, because if you let him fall back down. Um, <laughs> I will pick Joel Embiid. Let's no, we're not gonna give me Joel with. Oh my god! Let me think about this for a second. Do 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 do. <laughs> Give me, give me Joel Embiid because he's the next available, so I have to take him. I'll take Joel and, and Jimmy. We can run that back. That's good. Really good. I'm going to take – wait, I have Giannis. Giannis could play. Yeah. I think I'm going to do – Uh, shoot. I'm going to do Anthony Davis with Jimmy Butler. Um, oh, man. Light out. <sighs> All right. Um, Zach Levine. Yeah, it's tough. Uh, let's go to Draymond, and I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to go Dame. Mm-hmm. Euro, back to back. Let me, yeah, let me go. Uh, Harden with Russ based off of the same idea that Dub had. And man. Jimmy Butler. Man, I feel like I feel like I always get stuck with this big. Everybody keeps forgetting him. And that's the only thing that I'm like left with. 
So I'm going to go, I'm going to go Rudy Gobert and Jimmy. I, you weren't stuck with them. I was, I, <laughs> I mean, everybody's not forgetting about them. We're I just was, taking I mean, the better bigs. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, sure you know. My mind. Uh, all right. My turn, right? Yep. Um, so I got Westbrook, Levine, and, but- you know what? I'm going to go Jimmy Butler. And y'all talked about him last episode. Um, Carl Anthony Towns. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> said nothing but positive things about him. No, yeah, I saw the whole 24 minute thing about him video. being like, trash. It was, a, it was great. It was a great video. I laughed. Dub, you were you were something, man. That was. Something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have a deep bias towards Cat. Very deep. Um, I have Zach Levine, Draymond Green, and Russell Westbrook. I feel like Draymond Green. I got a five and a four. Raymond Green probably go with a PG here, three here, or three here, two here. Okay. Ray, oh, James Harden's already picked. I'm gonna go Dre and James. I'm gonna go Chris Paul and Draymond Green. Jack. You want Chris? Okay, this is weird that you guys haven't done it, but if you're gonna let it fall, oh. He can't pick that, but he can. Um, all right, give me, give me, give me Demar Derozan, and <clears throat> put him with, put him with Zach. Wait, wait. Uh... <laughs> oh, okay. I'll pick Luca with Clay Thompson. And then I'll go Luca and Clay Thompson. JD is about to explode in his chair. He forgot about Luca. I <laughs> didn't forget about Luca, but uh, you can, can I, we talk about Luca after this draft? Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Uh, who could I? We've seen them play together and they weren't successful, so I don't want that. Yeah, don't pick I, that player. I do Paul. I do Paul George and Draymond. I mess Paul George back on me? and Draymond Green. Yeah. Give me Devin Booker and Clay Thompson. I'm about to go because I'm gonna go a three. Nobody with, with Clay. Zach, is bad. So I'm gonna go. That's true. Um. Donovan Mitchell with Russ. I don't think you could pick a player that's a bad match with Clay. Like yeah, there's that, not, I don't I don't think there's a player where you like, yeah, that's not gonna work. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. No, that's for sure. On you load up. I'm gonna go damn. I was gonna go with them more and Zach Levine. Uh is tough so question is this like a team i'm making or is this just like the best second option both both got you all right damn i was gonna go to jack were you gonna pick katie you know i'm gonna go Uh, trey young and zach levine if i went first or like the pick now when i when i when I pick KD, but then it was your turn. Were you gonna pick KD or you just gonna pick somebody else? No, KD was the the pick. I didn't even know that anybody said Ke- uh, Kevin Durant's name. I completely zoned out. I just knew that I was next, so I was like, I seen LeBron, I seen Giannis. Wait, and can I stuff. switch or it's too late? Missing somebody. But yeah, I was picking KD over everybody else for sure. There, uh, I could live with that. Euro, Zach Levine, and Clay Thompson. Back to back, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, let me go job with Zach. Clay Thompson. And uh, Sabonis with Clay. Demon. <laughs> Demontis. Yo. D-O-M-A-N-T-A-S. Demontis. The bonus. All right, light up. Uh, 
Damn, my team is small. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I thought, damn, Russell Westbrook. Who the hell am I going to put with Russell Westbrook, bro? Um, Hopefully a four. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with Bam out of bio. Oh, um, that's bad. It is, but I need a big man. All right, I'm going oh, Jason Tatum with Zach. Uh, Draymond Green, Shaq. Um, I don't know why. I'm going to go. <laughs> it's sad that it's between <laughs> Kyrie and LaMelo Ball. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I thought Kyrie's going to be gone. So my mind was like, I'm going to say LaMelo Ball and everybody's going to go crazy. But uh, but that's just me loving LaMelo versus the rightful owner of this spot. Um, I don't care. Put Kyrie with Draymond. Let's just see what happens. They're making the playoffs. Dub Russell Westbrook. Say cat. No, cat got picked, right? Yeah. I, I, picked him. <laughs> I would have picked cat. Oh, I definitely would have picked that cat. <laughs> but I guess I'll I guess I'll play small ball. I'll go with D Mitch. I already have Donovan Mitchell with Russ. You have him? Oh my god. With Russ too. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now I need more time. Wow. You know what? It's, let me see what the chat's gonna say. <laughs> let me see what the I must. I'll, I'll I'll happily acknowledge that I'm about to look chat. At the surprisingly, chat right hasn't thrown a lot of picks into. They that. haven't the one time that they really the one time I'm looking and they're not throwing nothing. <laughs> Jordan Lumber, the one time I'm looking. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I mean, god. Nobody, nobody saying nothing. Ah. There you go, Jalen Brown. I, I I guess I'll pick uh no I didn't want him. Go Kristoff. Nah. <laughs> For going off an of injury, I'll pick Zion. A healthy Zion. Yeah. That's two Russes basically. It's just <laughs> little Russ and fat Russ. <laughs> nah, nah, he could shoot a bit. Zion could shoot. No, nah, I was just saying, like, you know, just head down, shoulder out, and just oh, yeah. to the cup. Big body. All right, chat, who won? Um, and while you're picking, Jack, what do you want to talk about Luka Doncic? I think I won. I'm just looking at this. Um, I'm trying to figure out who out of these five players has the better team going to the right. And I'm thinking Draymond with Steph Curry, Damian Lillard, Chris Paul, Kyrie, and Ir uh, Kyrie Irving, and Paul George is not the best team. But the James Harden, Bam, Donovan, KD, Zion, and Russ, that's not a bad team. That's, that's a really nice team, actually. That is fire. Jimmy Butler, Kawhi. <laughs> yo, yo Kawhi. Jimmy Butler's, yeah. The Jimmy Butler one. <laughs> Could you imagine that team? <laughs> Jimmy, uh, the corner dub, Jimmy had figured it out. <laughs> Just a he, bro, he figured it out with <laughs> Ben Simmons. <laughs> We it's figured it out with Ben Simmons. We figured it so, out. With so, so Jimmy, Jimmy will fig <laughs> figure it. How? Okay, so how? He I, figured I, it out with Ben Simmons and Carl Anthony Towns. He can figure it out. <laughs> he can. Come on, stop it. That that Philly that Philly roster what? terrible fit. It was why, a terrible fit. Why do you love Jimmy so much? That's what I want to know. It's not about Jimmy. It's what he showed me. He showed me that I can rely on him. He showed me that he can make any situation work out. That's what he has shown me. Why he ain't win the chip then? He's just not on that level. I'm sorry. You got LeBron, KD, Kawhi. Like, what you want me to say? There's guys better than him. I'm not gonna say uh, he's on that level because he's not. So, so if you if you could build a super team with one of the guys being Jimmy, like who would you pick? Like the other two to be big three. Uh, the other big three with Jimmy. Yeah. Well, would Jimmy be my best player? Nah, just Jimmy being in the mix. Jimmy being, I mean, if I could pick anybody, bro, it's not really that hard. I mean, let me know. I'm trying to hear. I mean, you got, you could do KD, you could do Kawhi, and then you can't make it too overpowered. So, KD, Kawhi, and Jimmy. Oh, bro, that's a championship. 
That's not a championship? I'm thinking. <laughs> what? That's not even a question. That's a championship. What? It shouldn't even I mean, be a question. Kyrie, James Harden, and KD are in a championship. Injury, bro. Injuries. Come on, don't do that. They they didn't play not one postseason together. All three of them together. They kind of struggle with Indiana. It is Kyrie's first game, but you see, this is the thing with you guys. Like, why are you guys based? Let me tell you. You want to know? I didn't bring who, up Indiana. You want to know who I bet to win on that game? I picked uh-huh. the Pacers. You want to know why? Because they just lost four or five in a row. All all four or five of them was within distance. So this was the game that they had to step up in. Yeah, you it's were basketball, bro. A, it just happened. That's a horrible <laughs> logic. Horrible, of yeah. Yeah. I was right. I was right. Oh, wait. They lost. Wow. They lost. You were. You lost money. <laughs> I did lose money. They <laughs> lost. Do you know what's going on in that betting app of yours? <laughs> 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 what's going on in the world around you? Sometimes you hit. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm, at a good plus. I'm at a good plus right now. Very good plus. So we're just going to see. I- that's what that's what every gambler says like if you ask any gambler if they're down money and it's only the ones that are really down on their <laughs> last leg their 20th year of gambling and they just confess everything i've lost a nah. game in my lifetime <laughs> like, nah bro nah seriously i'm on i'm on a i'm on a good one right now i'm, I'm up like oh you don't need to say, say that i ain't yeah. gonna say it but i'm just saying i think that i think that, I think that logic is horrible though you said what that logic is horrible. How is that logic horrible? It wins me money. They, uh, so a team, okay, wait, it wins you money. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, reiterate the logic. I didn't catch that. Okay, so wait, you go, stop, you said. So the way I no, bet, right? The way no, I really bet. Quick, can we start getting your bet? I'm pretty sure there's a lot of gambling. <laughs> can we have a dub segment where he just so, says his best picks of so what to possibly I showed bet y'all, I showed y'all a bet where I picked God. the Pistons, I picked the Kings, mm-hmm. and I think I picked the Trailblazers. All of them was a plus. I picked them because... Detroit was home. They was on a losing streak, and they were bound to win. Uh, Kings as well. They lost three in a row in a home, so they was bound to win at home. And then the Blazers, I just had faith they made Oh, uh, okay. I get what you're game. doing. But you, you parlay see? all those? Oh, I parlayed that one. That one won me like 800. So I was like, right. fire. It was great picks. But that's, that's my logic. Like, my logic when it comes to gambling, it's crazy, but it works out. I can't even explain it. <laughs> they said dub is a casino's dream. <laughs> nah, bro. Yo, listen. Uh, yo, I, lo- I took I'm- ten L's in a row, but this one right here, this is the one. <laughs> I'm bound to win this. I one. do take. Nah, I mean, every no. game takes a lot of L's. You got to be willing to lose money to make money. Straight like that. I'm not mad about that. That's a, that's in life, but uh, being a casino's dream is just nuts. Think about that logic for it. Being a casino's dream, that's probably the worst thing to be. Literally. I'm not. It's like uh, Kevin Durant had macaroni and cheese for lunch. Um, <laughs> Some, oh, it's a Tuesday. Yo, he oh, really you want to know another bet? You want to know another bet? So in football, today. right? In football, the Rams versus the 49ers. I picked the 49ers to win that game because they played on Monday Night Football and they have one of the best records on Monday Night Football and they actually did win that game. So, so the day's Dub's, day- Dub's the one who goes to the roulette table and he's like, oh, it's hit 14 six times. Oh, no, I'm not doing that. I don't play <laughs> not- roulette. I'm good off of used to be me in the casino. I just see it's going to red every time, and I'm trying to trick the machine or trick the ball. And it just keeps going red. And the one time I'm like, okay, I've had enough. You've bent me over. I'm, I'm going red. <laughs> it just goes black. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, Shaq. You know, there was one time in Europe. For the first time, I went to the casino in Europe. And, like, literally, I went in there in seven hands, seven spins later of roulette. I, I lost literally every single hand. And the cage manager is just looking at me like, it happens to the best of us. Yo, I could have flipped that fucking table. I was so <laughs> mad, bro. Yeah, that's how it would so, be. Don't do that to my hard earned. I played, I, played I played a rocket shit game on DraftKings. And it was hitting, like, red, red. And red is bad. So I'm sitting like, yo, it's like six, seven reds in a row. So I'm like, yo, a green's going to come. A green's come, come. So I'm keep doubling my money, doubling my money, doubling my money, losing, losing, losing. I lost everything, everything. So you don't want to know what I did? I went back into my bank account. I grabbed <laughs> more money to put in the game. Then I won everything back that I lost. So then that's when I stopped playing the game. Listen, as a- 
I'm going to say this in closing. Gambling is bad, okay? Gambling is really bad. It's addictive. It's no way to get over and win. If you're going to gamble, play poker. That's my only two cents on that. At least you have some control. If you're going to gamble, Everything don't else. lose that's, more than you can afford to lose. Please. That's Please. hard. Gamble that's that's really dub. hard. And Dub, we got we to gotta give a, a Dub his credit, too. You live in the legal state, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. It's good. Shout out to you for that. Man. Yes, sir. We have a fun. All right, Shaq, what do you have to get off your chest about Luca? Um, well, you know, I mean, <laughs> you guys know. <laughs> um, <laughs> what do you What do you have to say about Luca? Seriously, like, they just beat the Golden State Warriors on Dirk's jersey retirement night. That was nice. I was tearing up a little bit. That was nice. I don't I don't care who's being going state right now when Steph can't make a basket. Steph does this every season. Catch Steph in a couple of weeks. I'm sure you guys are playing again. Steph is also hurt right now. Oh yeah, that could be a possibility. But what's your problem with what's your problem with Luca? Like? Yeah, I would love to hear this. Like, what is this issue? Because this it's guy a, it, it's, it's the same thing that I've been telling you guys literally for an entire full summer. I sat there. I sat there and I sat there every single episode. You guys told me Lucas trajectory is this, that, and third. I don't know why I'm just like sometimes right about these things. Zach Levine and DeMar, what did I say? They're going to have an amazing start to the season. They're first in the East. LeBron James isn't finished. He's about to be first in the MVP voting. And now we're, now we're at Luca. Now it's time to turn this leaf. If I was you in the chat, I would agree with me right now. Luca, it's never coming yet. back. It's it's never coming back. What that magic about? that you guys. What's not what's not coming back? Yeah, what are you talking you about? Because did you watch the game? I I know that you guys are gonna be sentimental about this. It's okay. I'm here with you. It's like, a, it's <laughs> no, like I just want I just want to understand what is not coming you, back. You know Dallas are fifth in the in the West, right? <laughs> I love this. I love this right now. I love all of this. Are right, you guys gonna die on this hill again? What are, hill? are you? Because you know you know. All of Luca's numbers are down except assists. No, all of Luca's numbers are down except efficient. I mean, uh, a field goal percentages. That's it. Everything is fine. Hey, why, everything. Why don't he's we, averaging twenty six? Everything is fine. All right, that's like you at the craps table. You're like, stop, stop. Everything is fine. He's gonna hit the next one. Everything oh, is, you want to know? Don't why worry. They got an eighteen. You, you want to know why it's back. fine? You want to know why it's fine? Because we see the league as a whole, there's a lot of guys who are struggling. So if there are a lot of guys who are struggling, that means that this is just a state where things who, are who at. Who are these guys? Who are these guys? Dame. Luke and Dame. Dame Luca. Okay. And JT was there. struggling a bit. No, 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 no. JT's what? always been, or oh, JT's oh always been this. God. But when you put it under the magnifying glass, you can finally, when you open your eyes to certain things. And James certain Harden was struggling a bit. We got uh, Trey hey, Young James, struggling James a bit. Was, James, hey, James isn't struggling anymore. Let me read this off for you. Okay, so in the 23 games, he's he's down 2% um, with field goal percentages. Um, he's down 3% from three. He's down 4% from two. Um, he's down 5% for efficiency. 5%. 5 whole percent. He's he's flirting with mellow numbers here. Remember, I, I hate to bring up mellow, but all right. Let's keep, <laughs> hey, let's keep going because you guys love to bash mellow, but I'm on the mellow train now. But he's only shooting 50%. From efficiency, with, with adjusted for the three-point shot and free throws, all of that stuff. Um, he's up 0.2% with assists, same rebounds, blocks are the same. He's up 0.3 in turnovers. He's down almost um, three full points this year. So, he only averages. I don't understand. Yeah, what I don't understand point? what you're trying to argue. Like, what are you I even trying? You guys to said he was the sixth. You guys said he was the sixth best player in the league. Okay, uh, so me, Shaq, listen, ten. listen. So remember when you were talking about how you were on COVID protocols, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. You got to enjoy your Christmas and New Year's. And then when you came back mm -hmm. to practice, you were on your hands and knees. All of this happened before. All of these numbers happened before he got uh, all of this COVID stuff. Yeah, what are that's we talking true. about right now? This is, these numbers have been here. That's true. So you're not going to take into account that the NBA was playing a more physical game. I'm taking into account he's, not, he's down five percent in efficiency. And I'm he taking turn that around. Why can't he turn that around, Shaq? Why can't he turn that around? That's one, and I don't know why it's such a big deal. It's well. not. Is that's and that's like, the point. That, it's not that big of a deal if the only thing in his game is field goal percentages when a lot of guys were struggling, especially in the in the beginning of the year. So why is that a being basis of your argument? 
There's no reason for it. He can turn that around because he's that type of player. All right. I, uh, this is why I wanted to bring up Lucas so, so you guys could harp back on it. This is crazy what you're doing right now. Do, does anybody want to make a bet that he won't turn it around since we're in the gambling mood right now? Let's get right. <laughs> you, you're going to owe me a bottle of honey, a uh, uh, cases of honey. If, if, if <laughs> Luca, if, if Luca turns it around is double. No, hold on. Hold on. We, we, what is turning it around? This is subjective. We need hard concrete numbers. Here. Yeah. I need to know. I can give you hard. I can give you hard concrete numbers right now in dub, by the way, the heat have to finish in the top four. For you to get your um, bottle of Henny, um, and it's not looking good right now. Hopefully, Jimmy can turn that situation around. Um, but what, what, what you guys, the, his efficiency is at 50%. And no, the reason I'm talking like this is because you guys literally brought up stats, points, and decimals for three years straight on Luca's greatness. You guys, it was never about winning for you guys, ever, because he got zapped out of the playoffs two years straight. It was never okay. about winning. So now when things are down and they're fifth in the West and all of this similar stuff that we we seen from Luca. Nothing. The scene is the same. And now all of a sudden, we're not bringing it. Euro. Now I can't bring up stats and numbers. Now him being down five five percent in efficiency, it means nothing. I mean, I mean, I'm not going to say anything about that because I I low key agree with you. I'm not. I'm not. I don't hate on Luca, but I'm not big on it in terms of like giving him all the credit that you guys are giving him. You know what I mean? For the simple fact that again, I keep saying this. By the time he was in the league or he came to the league, he was already like a six year pro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't measure him. That I like, played against, by the way, hashtag we are not the same. I played against <laughs> Luca. I have clips. I I have yet to put my clips on TikTok just because I'm too lazy to do it. And I don't want to hear shit like I But don't Shaq, know. this is the thing. You're knocking this guy. See, this is the reason why we look at Luca in this light. He lost in the first round, and you have that. Who did he went up against two guys? Kawhi is arguably the best defender in the league. Paul George is probably the best defender at his so position. So why you don't have arguably. the same sentiment when LeBron goes up against KD? So St Steph, Curry, whoa, 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 whoa. Steph Curry, Steph Curry, his his numbers are down. So should we criticize him as well? Because they're no, still his number numbers one in were the up, but now his numbers, he he's his numbers were up. Now they're down. They're going to go back up. Steph Curry is not Luka Doncic, and this is what I've been telling you guys. This, the button that you guys think that these superstars can hit and just turn it on and just be like, I'm this amazing, there's a reason that players have down years completely because it's real hard in a season that you've already played 23 games and then just say an all-star break, you know what, I'm about to turn this up. Granted, the greats can do it. Of course Steph is going to turn it around. Why can't Luka do it? Why can't Luca do the same? It's not, this is what I've been trying to tell you. They are not the same. Hashtag they yeah. are not. Well, the Steph same. is Luka, better. Luca, Luca is not built like Steph. Sorry. Well, Steph, Steph is better player. I, I'm in agreement with you on that. But Luca Doncic, I'm sorry, Shaq. Luca is that guy. Luca is, is that. Guy. that. He is on his way to becoming that type of caliber player. And this is a this season. He's definitely going to show that. This season, bro, is one of the most difficult seasons we've had in a very long time. With the and, bro, and that's why I cannot wait for the playoffs because I guarantee you, I get, bro, I guarantee you, they're going to the second round. And I said this, <laughs> I said this in the episode that I was here before. I told I Shaq, I'm going to be here. When Luca goes to the second round, because that's the only thing you hold against Luca that he cannot Listen, pass the first round. This is clever. This is clever. And then, wait, tell me. This uh -huh. is that's really a very clever, low bar, this too. Is, this, in, in, no, in, no, it isn't light out. No, no. Low bar. That is so clever because when I look at Golden State, 29 and 8, they're not getting uh -huh. caught. I look at the Phoenix Suns, 29 and 8, they're not getting caught. I look at the Utah Jazz, 29 and or 28 and 10, they're not getting caught. And look who's left Memphis Grizzlies, 25 and 14. And then who's after them? The Dallas Mavericks had 20 and 18. So this is the, here's the thing you're praying that they finish fourth or fifth. You better hope they miss that Lakers bullet that is just lining up. Um, but I I don't think they can be uh, Memphis in the best of seven. I either. think they. I think they I can. I think they I can. I don't think they can. I think it'll be can. a great series. It'll be a great series, but I think they can. Game. Yep. I think that, Memphis games. is going to play everyone tough this mm -hmm. the rest of the season. Yeah, they're going to be fun to watch in playoffs. I think they at least make it past the first round this year. Oh, it's all about uh, what they match up against. But that would be a great series to see. You can't just pass up Luca on what he is and what he has shown you in the playoffs. We haven't seen anything from John Morant in the playoffs, and we have to acknowledge that. We acknowledged it. Now, who's playing better right now, Ja or Luka Doncic? Mm. 
mm, right now, right now. Bad. But let's yeah, see. Don, Wait, let's get into it. Let's let's get into it. Let's take let's get into it. Let's take narrative out of the equation. Yo, see, uh, you guys squirm up here. I'm <laughs> not you. It's right. making my day. Hey, let's get into I'm it. in the perfect let's situation because these are two of my guys. So nah, let's get into it because let's take narrative <laughs> out of the equation. The okay. Memphis Grizzlies, when John Morant went out, they went on a ten to two run, correct, or something like that. Yeah. When when Ja was in, they were. 14 and 12 or like 16 and 14. So that was their record. So really how important I'm, and I don't want to do this to John Morant, but it's like Shaq is making me do this to John Morant. I don't want to, but let's do, do this to John Morant. Right? To so, so we got 14 and 12. How much, how much did his game really equate to winning and how much talent does he really have around him? Let's not just pass up that the guys that he plays with Steven Adams. I thought he was done in the beginning of the season. Now he's turning it around. Uh, um, who else? Desmond Bain showing up. Dylan Brooks showing up. He has good talent around him. You have to acknowledge that. Luka Doncic is almost the same aspect. They both had good players around them, Shaq. They're both like... Oh, dub. So if John but, then we, on the Grizzlies, we, where do they finish? We, we look at the... Now let's look at the averages. Let's look at the averages. Luka Doncic, 25, 8, and 9. John Morant, 24, <laughs> what? Can you answer five the host's and, question? 5 and 6? <laughs> Dub, can you please answer our host question? He had a very simple question for you. If Jazz not on Memphis, where do they finish? Who? Memphis Grizzlies? Yes. They've shown you. They, they went 10-2 and two correctly. They'll probably be in the Dub, playoffs. How many games are in an NBA season? 82. 82. They'll probably okay. be in the playoffs. So do you think they're going to go 60-22? and 22? I said they will probably. I said they will probably make the playoffs. I am not saying they will be sixty and twenty-two. I said they will. They will have a good chance of making the playoffs okay. without him. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. They're not going to finish above the Warriors, the Suns, the Jazz. We can scrape that off. Are they Jay, finishing Jay, above the? Oh Mavericks? my God! Oh <laughs> my God, Jay! What are you talking about? Listen, they've shown you the type of talent that they have. They've shown you that they don't have to lean on John Morant. For you to sit here and act as if they're yep. completely knocked out the playoffs without John Morant, that's kind of disrespectful. They definitely have the a chance of making the playoffs. Do the Mavs? I think the Mavs do. I think they have good talent as well. They have a good chance. Do I think they're locked for the playoffs? No. I think that the Dallas and John Morant, I mean, the Dallas and Grizzlies are locked in the playoffs with Luka and John Morant. 1,000%. They They're making the playoffs with those guys on that team. But they do have good talent around them. So when we look at the averages, it's 25, 8, and 9 compared to Josh, what, 25, 4, and 6? Don't something bring like up that. stats right now. Don't bring up stats right now because I just tried to bring that up for Luka and I just got thrown off the, the, the freaking top floor. I told you, I, I told you that Luca to turn it around because he's that type of caliber player. I don't see John Morant having nine assists in the season. How do you know season. that? Okay, okay, okay. Let's go based off of how you guys go. When guys get to the playoffs, they do this, they do that. It, it, we know when this person goes to the playoffs. How do you know that Luca is that type of player to turn it around? When have you seen in Luca's career when he was playing in the Euro League? When have you seen Luca just turn it around from something like this? I and when have you seen Ja even have the chance to turn anything around in the short time that he's been in the league? No, Ja's hot. Ja doesn't need to turn anything around. He's hot right now. What I'm saying, I don't see Ja Morant being the type of playmaker that Luka Doncic is. I don't see that. Could he learn that for years to come? Absolutely. But that's not what he is right now at all. If, if you're scoring points and willing your team to more wins, I don't give a damn about Luka Doncic's playmaking. If but they, they don't score the exact same. Playoffs. They score almost the exact the, same, Shaq. No, I'm, I'm, I'm letting you know I don't care because you guys said that Luka Doncic is – Superman, because we're not going to give him Batman because then that would mean he's the Dark Knight and he's not the Dark Knight. So we're going to give him Superman, that movie that comes out and you're like, you got some fanatics, but eh, it's not really Marvel. I mean, that's just my opinion. You guys want him to be this guy so bad. It's embarrassing. You he's guys shown told it, me Shaq. was the sixth best. No, 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 no. He never shown. He's shown it in an inflated NBA that that you guys just took and ran with it. He's never made it out of the first round. This year he's having a down year. You 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 guys, it, tell I'm, me now. Making, that never yeah. making it out the first round is such a context bend if I've ever seen one. Because that boy was okay, falling so, out against okay, two okay. defenders in the league and giving them straight buckets. Giving them straight okay. Okay. Buckets. This is what I'm trying to tell you. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Did Dallas, are they beating Golden State in a, in a series of seven? No. Are they beating Phoenix Suns in a best of seven? I don't believe so. Are they beating the Utah Jazz in the best of seven? And this is where you're about to lie. Because Possibly. It's Possibly. Yep. 
I mean, Paul George, far, you if, Paul George like, if Paul George could beat them without Kawhi Leonard, it's not a doubt in my mind that Luka could beat them. Okay, we're going to see. We're going to see because Paul George beat Luka without Kawhi Leonard. Paul jo- what? What? You- I know it sounded nice. When was this? <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say. I was about to it say. It sounded nice, boy. If you would have. <laughs> I, I, I would have left the show. I would have left the show. <laughs> if, it, if it wasn't for that All last right. shot that uh, Luca put up that has, you know, that's like hardwired into everybody's memory, then you might have gotten away with that shot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, like, let's see. They're putting question marks in the chat. No, I was just kidding. I was just kidding. All right. Let's let's talk about the man of the hour. Returning back to the NBA's first game of the season. Kawhi or Kawhi. Kyrie Irving comes back. 22 points. I don't know his all his other stats. I know he dropped 22. Um, had a decent game. I didn't actually watch it, just saw box score, so I don't really know how he played. How we got those twenty two points? Um, I do. But let's talk about let's talk about Kyrie. Thoughts on him being back? I cannot wait for the documentary. <laughs> no, 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 no! Don't do that light out. Like I'm happy Kyrie's back, but I do not want to see a, a documentary about Kyrie Irving. It's gonna I, happen. I, it's gonna happen. I, I'm he's gonna, gonna produce it. Yep, he's gonna find a way to do it. I'm not if saying he, that I want it. And listen, it's gonna happen. Let's be real. If Kyrie's producing his own documentary, it's not gonna be about basketball. That's true. I would be about, about the Earth more. being flat. Well, but he's gonna go to Antarctica and see if he could go reach the ends of the Earth. I will say this though, man. Like Kyrie, obviously, man, you know, supreme talent, and him, you know, just you know, scoring twenty points off of like how many like weeks, months he hasn't played. Uh, I mean, it's amazing, man. But it it was to be expected. I expected, it, especially playing the Pacers. You know what I mean, and whoever they had, not to. You know, talk bad about, you know, any of the guys that defended him, but anybody defending Kyrie is going to look bad. So if you ain't, you know, an elite defender like, you know, some of the top dogs that we that we know and love, it's going to be a it's going to be a 20 piece from Kyrie every time. (laughs) Anybody else? I love it. I love everything. This is honestly, you have to give Kyrie his respect because he took this stand for something that he believed was wrong. And now he's able to do something that the league was not trying to, or not the league, but the state was not trying to let him do. And now he's still able to do that without getting what everybody <laughs> wanted him to get. You have to give hats for him because he took a stand check. And you was the one that said this. Oh, you said this. This was out of your mouth. You said, oh, I would respect Kyrie a hell of a lot more if he doesn't take the vaccine or if he play half the game for the whole entirety of the season and all of that. So you have to give this man for respect for standing on his ground and standing on his word. You have to give him I respect him for that. I I, I do respect him for that. Um, Yeah, what do you you want me to say? Kyrie came out, played great. He had a few fourth quarter buckets in in succession. I think he had like three in a row and it was just Kyrie-esque. Um, where he's going in there trying to Euro taking the contact. They weren't giving him any fouls. Um, he was on that three-point line begging for the ball a lot. And you could see the guys that have been there were like, <laughs> you, you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, we and haven't you, forgot. Like and you, you saw, And you saw what he did, too. The second that he caught it on the wing, he threw that joint up. And it was like, why did you do that? You know what I mean? But he had to let yeah, the young no. boys know. Um, uh, the bigger story for me was, was Lance Stevenson, uh, 30 ball. Um, and I see in the chat that he had five the night before he did, but you just got to understand, I respect Lance Grind more than I respect Kyrie's because Kyrie's has so many flaws into it leading up to his reasoning behind it, why he did what he did, letting down his teammates, 99.9% of the NBA took the vaccine. He was the one that didn't. Great stance, Kyrie, not on you. I respect Lance much more after working out with him maybe 100 plus times, open gyms. And by the way, Lance Stevenson looks like LeBron James in open gyms. It's, it's really crazy. It's almost unguardable. Um, How did Kyrie let down his teammates? Can I, can I, can I give Lance his flowers as a Go as ahead. a personal fr- as a personal friend of mine? Can I give Lance his flowers? <laughs> no, we are not going to text him and bring him on the show. Uh, you- oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> then he's going to take his flowers from you, Doe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, shout anyway. out to Lance. Played great. 
Uh, no, but um, it was good to see Lance out there getting busy. I'm from Indianapolis. Well, I'm from Indiana, but I live in Indianapolis during the summers. Um, so it was good to see. I wish they would have got the win, not because of Kyrie, just because so he could savor that moment. The Nets are going to do what they're going to do. Um, but Lance being able to have a 30 piece and I think they resign him. I don't know. Um, Lance has stated that he wants to play in Indiana. That's where he feels most comfortable. I'm just happy that he's out of China and getting another um, opportunity, even though the money in China he was making was ridiculous. Um, so I don't, I don't know if he makes more money in that in the league, but the fact that he's home um, and gets another opportunity to me um, was huge on great numbers too. Four for eight from three. It's not, he's no scrub. He's no scrub. Lance is no scrub. By no means. And Stay keeper Sykes. Shout out keeper Sykes too. Yeah. All right. Go ahead, so, so how did Kyrie let down his teammates? Uh, we've done this plenty. I'm not about to get into this right now. I don't need to. Um, Kyrie's back. Let's all cheer. Yay. They're about to win a championship. You don't think him being a part-time uh, player and him being absent for mostly the whole season won't affect anything? No. They'll be no. absolutely fine. They're professional. They're grown men, bro. They'll know how to handle the situation. They understand that this situation was not brought from Kyrie on his own. It was brought from the state of New York and the, so the whole team. Had. So the whole team is on on Kyrie's stance. Like the Nets are standing with Kyrie. Everyone. The whole team. Yeah. I mean, I don't know these guys on a personal basis to say yes or no, but uh -huh. I do believe James Harden and KD is on his side. And honestly, those are the most important people that you need on your side. Okay. So where, where are you getting at, Lada? I'm curious. No, I'm just saying. I'm just asking. Uh, I think Kyrie, you know what? No, I'm not going to get there. Let's go. I'll get there. <laughs> I, I hate when I have to get this nasty because after the show, yeah. I'm like, damn, I got nasty. And I hate those episodes when I get nasty. But if if everybody went dub, if you sat out on this show because we said you have to be vaccinated to be a panelist, I don't know. I, I, wouldn't, I, would, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> but I will always, I will Man. always respect that. If it's, as I always said, it's, if it's my job, if it's my job, if my job required me to do that, okay, I will go out and do it. You so know? why you don't hold, so why you don't hold That's Kyrie exactly to that same point. standard? Because honestly, if I had the amount of resources that Kyrie had, I would have made the same stance. I don't have the so, amount of resources that he has. So basically you're just saying he's not a moral person because of money that that's what? why he no it's it's he no 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 he has his responsibilities covered already so he is able to take stances like that i cannot say the same thing because i have responsibilities that i have to take for myself you don't That's think he true. has a responsibility to his peers in the league that he is like well, no we're enemy? talking about working right now working right now listen i mean yes you have responsibility to your peers but at the end of the day my main objective in my life to make sure my family is fed or my family's taken care of or mm -hmm. my yeah, bills yeah. is paid and no stuff. Question. Those are my main responsibilities. That coworker stuff is secondary. I'm sorry it is. So no, I no, no. I'm not talking about coworker stuff in terms of like, yo, man, they, you know what I mean? They're not going to win a chip if I'm, not, if I'm not part of the team. I'm talking about his peers, like all 400 players in the league because let's just say like right now. No, they're all-stars. Huh? Wait, what? You're talking about his peers as in the other all-stars in the league. No, his talking about no I'm the talking NBA. about all players. I'm talking about the NBA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, it, doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what level. I'm talking about anybody who comes in gotcha. contact with because the issue is, right, his, vaccina his vaccination status and that we're in the middle of a pandemic still. And regardless of where you are on, on which side of the fence, the argument is that, yo, fam is unvaccinated and he shouldn't be out here sweating and coughing and talking in people's faces while we got all this going on. So now, it now let's just say, let's just say things get real nasty. I don't, you know what I mean? Everybody knock on wood. I ain't trying to put this out in the universe, but let's just say somebody, you know what I mean? Kicks the bucket off some COVID stuff, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. via contact, I mean, uh, uh, contact tracing that leads back to the nets. What kind of, excuse my French, shitstorm is that going to cause? You see what I'm it's saying? Gonna, it's going to cause a, a great one because it's going to cause a great one, but then it's like, you don't, you don't know where that's coming from. Like, we just don't know where that's coming from to try to find the trace to sit here and say like that could happen. It's like, that's a, that's a bad picture to set up because of course that would be a negative light in but the Brooklyn Nets organization. Well, regardless, yeah, but Bradley, that's, why but I said, forget. that's why I said, regardless of, of, you know, or which side of the fence you are, because obviously vaccinated people and unvaccinated mm -hmm. people can, you know, con contract the, the virus, you know, all the same, Either I way. guess. But, yeah. 
Yeah, but it's, it doesn't, and now I'm getting like crazy too political. Like I, I really don't, yeah, let me not talk about this because I, I really don't, I really, I you. you know, don't want to be in this, in this. It's crazy know. how it's like, it's, it's very a political thing, sadly, but. Also, don't let's, get let's twisted. Keep in mind. It's not political, by the way. I think a lot of people make yeah, it. It's, it's, I understand it's, people make it political. It's not political. It's not. We're dealing with something that nobody knows anything about. So to yeah. Kyrie's credit for him to say, OK, I don't know what the vaccine because we uh, I don't want the vaccine because I don't know what it could do for me <clears throat> years down the road. That's that's fine. But this half ass in half ass out. That's what confuses me, because now, to, m to my knowledge, he won't be able to play the next game. Correct. The, yep. the, the, it's the, home, the home game. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, so, that's well, what I had an like, issue with, too. But not just him, but with the league as well, that the league even allows him to do this. That's again, the issue is not the crazy. league. The issue is not the league because you got Bradley Bill. He hasn't been vaccinated, correct? Bradley Bill is playing Forget whatever the, the, the organization, the organization, the, Bradley put Bill down and then put they fold down. the organization. I don't even think that the organization wants to sit Kyrie. It is a state mandate. That no, is something that the state is I'm causing. Saying, I, I, understand, I understand that, but the fact that you can't play half of the game, Stub, is where I draw the line. Like, it, like that's just where, if, if he was able to play, I wouldn't care. I wouldn't care whether he got the vaccine or not. Let that's, me tell you something. Play all the games. How is the owner organization? If you're running, if you're the head of the organization, right? So, Dub, let me ask you something. We're working, right, in, in, in the same company. You have mm -hmm. to work five days straight. I have to work three days, but I get paid the same as you. I thought Kyrie's taking pay cuts. For the, I haven't heard of that. So I thought he, true. I thought he has taken pay cuts. He yeah, I don't think he gets paid. But to your money. point, but to your point, uh, light out, it, it, it's just not, it's not the same because, like you said, Dub, Kyrie's already well off. So I just want to know, is that a result of people getting money and changing, or is it a result is Kyrie the same person? And we know the answer to this. We don't have to sit up here and speculate. It's only so it's, one way to skin a cat. I've seen this story many of times at the hands of Kyrie Irving. It's like the fifth sequel of this. And I don't know. I don't, I don't, you, you would think that what he's doing is noble, it's for a right cause, but he literally switched up his stance on why he's sitting out three or four times. And we can leave it at that and, and move on. Because I don't like the COVID situation because we don't know the benefits of or the side effects of COVID down the road. We don't know the side effects of the vaccine mm -hmm. down the road. So it's kind of irresponsible for us to get up here and say nothing's going to happen or something is going to happen. My only stance from the beginning of time is who in the league has died from taking the vaccine? Uh, uh, I, what, the person what, that has died from taking the vaccine. Somebody, uh, what's his name? Um, no, 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 no. Not, not, not. Because if you do that dub, that's one out of many, many players. But you just asked for somebody. I, I <laughs> like you somebody asked for somebody. Died. Somebody that know. died. What happened? Do you know who I'm talking about? Right? I dub, can't remember no, no, off no, the top no, of my no, head. Dub, dub. That's weird because if you go outside right now, you see somebody eat a hot dog and, and something happens to them, you're not about to be like, oh, that's just, oh my God, he ate a hot dog. I should never eat a hot dog again. You would never do that. Back Kyrie over the years have been injured. I'm pretty sure he took antidepressants, uh, not antidepressants, but um, what are they called? Uh, anti anti inflammatories, different stuff. Mm -hmm. And he never mm -hmm. once he. Ne All right. But if you're going through surgery, you got to take some things and you got to put them in your body, the anesthesia. But all right, I mean, it's because this is a moment for Kyrie. So let Kyrie get off this moment. I hope they win the championship. And he says all is well. Not, I'm ready to move. Not to justify the decision or anything, but I'm pretty sure he's taking this stance because the vaccine, it hasn't been around for that long. I'm sure um, he takes other vaccines, mm -hmm. I imagine. I, I just think it's probably Before because probably along the same lines, it's like this, like what Shaq said, there's just a lot of uncertainties with the disease, with the vaccine. It's just everything. There's just a lot of uncertainty. So he just don't doesn't want to put something that's uncertain into his own body. You know, that's how I feel that he that he's portraying it. I don't like that too, though. I don't fuck Kyrie, in, you know, with that in that regard. Whoa, boss. <laughs> why? <laughs> to, to, I mean, like like we said, like like we said, you know, like what Shaq said. If he decides to like not want to take the you know the vaccine because of something that he's fearful about, like later down the line, dog, that's your prerogative. Do that or don't do that. What I'm saying is the issue that I have is like, 
like Shaq said, it's the half in, half out. I feel like you can't make a decision and then want to be free from consequences. And it was a bunch of consequences, obviously, that followed his decision. And now he's playing, even if it's part time. I kind of feel like, you know, a lot of I feel like there's a lot of players out there that would be a lot of players out there. That's like, man, if I know if I if I had known I could do it like this, I would have done it like this. You see, the only issue with this is that Kyrie is playing in New York. If he wasn't playing in New York, we're not having this conversation. He would be if he's playing, playing basketball. in a, if he was playing in L.A., that's an issue, too. OK, but that, OK. Anybody but living is, and working in L.A., is, like myself, you have to all, get vaccinated or you lose your job. subject to where he is at. This is not the consequences of the NBA. This is not the consequences of the organization. Mm -hmm. This is the consequences of a working man working in the state of New York. So it's kind of unfair to put these type of consequences as if the NBA is not rooting for Kyrie or anything, because that's not the case. It's a state mandate. At the end of the day, the federal law is more important than the NBA guidelines. I think, no, 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 for sure, Duff. I'm, I'm with you on that. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't respect how anybody is handling this as far as like governing bodies, except for in some countries where they're completely shutting things down. And like, Duff, and like Euro said, hate to get political, but shit. It is what it is. Um, it's a lot of misinformation. Yes. Um, it's it's this is a time where conspiracy theorists can get their things off. And it's a time where people who think that they're right about the vaccine and about certain things, they're not right at all. And then new information comes out. It's just a scary world that we live in. And we've been living in this same world, but we just have social media to to bring everything to the forefront. Like we've always been be being lied to about certain things. There's there's things that have been done in history to where it's like, that was wrong, that was wrong. But this is just life, it just is what it is. So, I mean, Kyrie's entitled to do whatever he wants to do. Um, I, I, hats off to Kyrie, took a stand, now he's back hooping. Um, let's, let's see if, what happens in the playoffs. Word, all right, let's move on. We're gonna do Everyone's going to give their top three players in the league, and you have to explain why they're the top three players in the league. Right now, you have a minute to explain. Everyone's going to do it. I'm sitting this one out, though, because I don't want to get dunked on. So, does anyone want to go first? We'll start there. I, I can go first. Get it off. <laughs> um... The top three players in the league right now. <clears throat> am I on time? Am I being, a t am I being timed right yeah, now? Yeah, I got you. Um, I would have to say just off the top, I would have to say it's probably LeBron James, Kevin Durant, and Giannis. Um, Steph's hit a dry spell. Um, he's not shooting well right now. So when he turns that around, I don't know how he gets back into those top three because as far as efficiency-wise, I don't think he's going to be able to top what LeBron's doing when you add in playmaking and assists, which you guys love so much. Um, Giannis is just a statistical nightmare. He's a demon. Um, and he's always going to put up those numbers. Jokic's um, scoring is down, but I mean, that doesn't really matter. Um, so that's why I don't think he'll, he'll be able to finish in the top of the MVP. Yeah, I think I think it's KD, Giannis, and LeBron. And I seconds. also think if, Le if LeBron keeps playing like this, if they finish fourth in the West, he's winning the MVP award. All right, who's next? Uh, I'm going to go uh, LeBron James, Giannis, Kevin Durant. Again, I was high on Steph Curry last year, but been very inefficient this year. Um, his numbers have been down. And uh, LeBron, for me, is the best player in the world. I mean, this is nothing new. This is something that he has proven for a decade and LeBron James is doing it now again is showing us, Hey, I'm still the King. Um, Giannis statistically, he could do it oh. both, uh, both sides of the, uh, what, what's up, dub? What are you guys basing this off of? I am, no, no, I am no, no, really no, light out, light so out. confused. No, you have no, your, no, cause you have you guys, you, no, he asked the question. So I, he already opened go the ahead, door. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Step through it. You guys, uh, you wasn't here on the last show, light okay. out. So let me excuse mm -hmm. you. But Shaq was over here saying, oh yeah, you have to take winning into the equation. You know, you have okay. to take, put that so winning success. So mm -hmm. I don't understand how LeBron James is number one for him when Perfect. he's losing. He is losing. Okay. Shaq. He, he not, just, okay. he's on he's the three game. He's, we're, he's, we're, on we're three game this he's on a three game two, winning streak, right? He's on a three game winning behind streak. fourth place. Take, let on, that sink in. He is on a three game winning streak, mm -hmm. correct? 
Yes. Where Minnesota, everybody was on COVID. Then we had the Trailblazers. I don't even think they had Dane. They beat the Kings. Dane played. Prior to that, they was on a five-game losing streak. So I don't understand how you are putting okay. on this pedestal okay, so when I, this is contradicting your logic. Also, light out, okay. by the way, you could have said literally anyone else who's like 10th place that's not LeBron James and Dub would have never said anything. But the fact that you said LeBron. Yeah, I know. I said LeBron. No, and let me and let me just say this. You mentioned that the Minnesota Timberwolves were in COVID protocol and not everyone played. The Lakers were dealing with COVID protocol in that five-game losing streak as well. It was, LeBron was that. LeBron wasn't just there with his whole squad minus Anthony Davis. LeBron was playing with players that were coming in and coming out. So I don't know what's the excuse there. So it only applies to the people that don't uh, that play <laughs> against LeBron. Is that what I'm hearing? No, and, he, another, and he you know, was in and out himself yeah, as well. Exactly. And another no, thing, not for that losing thing, streak. He played and the majority of that. And I don't know what's so blasphemous about me saying LeBron James is the best in the world when he has proven this for a decade. He's just reminding everyone that he could do it again. So what's crazy? So let me tell and you, Jay Gideon brought it, and, and Jay Gideon brought it to um, the attention of saying that um, that I said that they were five spots behind fourth place. They are five. I mean, two games behind fourth place. They're five games behind fourth place. Um, two games behind fifth place. Sorry. So they throughout that losing streak, they still had Russell Westbrook. They had Carmelo Anthony yep. for that stretch. They had Dwight Howard for that stretch. That's still arguably the most important pieces to that team this, okay. despite Dwight Howard I think Dwight mm -hmm. needs to be used more I think he's important but that's a coaching issue they still yep. had they still had a good core of that team and they Got were you. losing they were losing Got you. they just okay. were who, who who's the most important player on the Lakers right now but not talent wise not who's the best player who's oh the most it's LeBron I, I've always said it was LeBron that has never changed Year in and year out, I always said it was LeBron James. And it was never Anthony. So I, I, just always I, just, I just don't get why. You don't, like the thing is that you mentioned that player, uh, the, the Lakers have won because players are missing in the other team when they're dealing the same thing with their squad. I understand Russell Westbrook is there, but let's not forget Russell Westbrook has been playing this great as a Laker as well. We're not gonna say Russell Westbrook's having this MVP type season. Russell Westbrook, I, I think it was, what, like two games ago? He had seven turnovers in one game, and with all that, LeBron James ended up winning? Okay, so it's it's, it's, everybody, it's everybody's fault besides LeBron James, correct? No, I'm, uh, the loss is going on LeBron fault. as well. The loss is going Okay, good, because yes, I see yes. that defense. That defense, I hate him running the five. The reason why they're getting killed has nothing to do with scoring, has everything to do with defense. They can't defend yep. anybody. They need to mm -hmm. cut that out. LeBron's putting up all these numbers is great, but they're losing because they cannot defend anybody. LeBron James, to me, is a top three player in the league. And it's probably not going to change like that, especially Duh. what I've seen from him. So how, do you, how, do you feel, how do you feel about Miami, bro? <laughs> Miami, bro? How do you feel about him? He was the best player in the league. He was the best player in the world at that time. So you clearly holding a grudge then because he Why? left the heat. No, it's not at all. It's, it's due to what I've seen. It's due to what I've seen from Kevin Durant and due to what I've seen from Giannis Antetokounmpo. The way Giannis has been playing for these last few years is no. amazing. Come on, okay, you're not going to deny that. Dub. Dub, I'm going to get you out of this real fast. Okay, right. so. Hey, what, do you, what have you, hold on, Jack, sorry. What have you seen from Anthony Davis this year? Anthony Davis, what do you mean? You said AD, didn't you? Oh, Katie, Katie, Katie. If I said AD, that's my bad. I meant Katie. Oh, okay. Maybe I'm tripping it. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Katie, me. yeah, not AD. No, not at all. Not one bit. Yeah, my bad. I may have. Wait, so that. your knock against LeBron being able to finish in the MVP voting is winning, right? No. Now you're changing the narrative. We're not no, talking about MVP voting. No, so you're not talking can't... about. See, this is what we was talking about. We made a whole rankings on best players in the league, right? Why the hell wasn't LeBron number one for you? Why is I, it he's number one? First Why off, is it? You pick, first off, you pick first. I picked my first, which is Giannis. Okay. I said LeBron is trending upwards. So why you is Giannis pick... one and LeBron not? What do you mean? I don't think, Gian I don't Giannis think. Has, I don't Giannis think that's has crazy. Numbers than, Giannis has better it's numbers than Katie and But for you, Shaq, you do why, that, right? why is it that you're not put that you are putting Giannis number one on that list that we did yesterday and not LeBron James? But then you're going to sit here and say LeBron James is better. It doesn't make sense. He didn't say that. It's we a, asked for the top three players in the world, and I put LeBron James, Kevin Durant, and Giannis in no particular order. Oh, that's my fault. I you, thought you put him number one. If you I do you want him me to put one. it in an order, it probably we can. He's over KD. If we're talking about individual performance, because you have LeBron that's trying to man an entire team 
to finish in the top half of the West versus a guy that went to a super duper team. No knock, no knock. But if Anthony Davis was playing, and if he was playing like the guy that you guys say he is, light out, I'm sorry. If he was playing like the guys that you, the, the guy that you guys say he is, where do you think that the Lakers would be in the West? Just answer that question. Top three seed. It could have, bro. Absolutely. Okay, okay. So if they're top three in the West and KD is top three, top three in the in the East, because they're not one right now, who who do you think right now would be leading in MVP voting? Um if Between I'm Kevin to, Durant if, and LeBron James. Well, it would have to be Kevin Durant because if AD's playing, LeBron's not putting up these numbers. Okay, okay, so, okay numbers. so wait, wait, wait. Says who? He's not. Don't act like Chad, LeBron hasn't put he's up not. these numbers with Kyrie out there. Don't he's not like doing that. it with Russell Westbrook and LeBron James. You gotta understand that LeBron has to exert more because AD is not there. Oh, okay, LeBron is right. playing the four and the five. So, bro, so like Kevin, you're not gonna sit here. He's not doing that. So One Kevin Durant, knock him. <laughs> I'm not yeah, even I'm knocking him. It's being real. Okay, shack. okay. Can't so Kevin, no, 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 no. LeBron you could did... be dropping 41, 35 if Anthony Davis there because they have to find a fit with those okay, three guys together. Perfect, He's perfect. Not doing that. LeBron's LeBron's scoring numbers go down when Anthony Davis come back. Okay, perfect. Doesn't the same <laughs> thing happen with Kyrie Irving coming back? No. <laughs> How? It didn't happen. He just dropped 40. What are you talking about? Well, okay, Ky- bro, you think over he got, one game, you think yo, he just yo, the season? he didn't drop 42. What was it, 30? It was, it was damn near. It was damn near. It was 30-something. Misinformation on this Misinformation? Pod. No, it was we 39. We will not spread misinfo. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I already got, I got punished for that. Sir? Oh, wait, oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. We'll look into it right now. Um, 39. 39. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's it's damn near 40. No, but you think, okay, but do you think, you think KD would have a MVP season with Kyrie Irving throughout the whole season? If he played throughout this whole entire season as if that he missed, if he plays from this moment forward, if he plays from this moment forward, I would say yes. You want to know why? Because Kyrie's playing half of the games. It doesn't matter. It doesn't doesn't matter. matter. It It does matter. He's playing half of all the right. games. Okay. All right. All right. So, anyways, back to back to this because um, Russell Westbrook, I don't think had a turnover last game. By the way. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. the first time in 401 games. That's really good. That that means that he's learning. That yep, is that's a good. learning. That is intentional. That is intentional. So we'll see where that goes. Yep. But Katie averages 29, seven and five. I'm gonna give you the decimals. Stats, points, and decim- decimals. 29.7. 7.7 rebounds, 5.7 assists. LeBron is at 28.6 points, 7.4 rebounds, 6.5 assists. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to figure out, he's shooting 37. They're both shooting the same thing from three. And LeBron's mm-hmm. shooting more. KD's shooting five threes, LeBron's shooting eight. LeBron's shooting at 37%, KD's shooting at uh, 37.3. Uh, so I- I'm just trying to figure out, Mm-hmm. Where unless you want to take into take into account free throws, LeBron's at seventy seven, KD's at eighty seven. Well, so, so this is LeBron, so, so, and I mentioned this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So if we take away, I, I'm not saying take away the free throws, but let's just forget about the free throws for a hot second. I'm with you. I'm with you. I, I understand we got to, but if you take that aspect out of the game, what what I, I need to know what's going on? What so, why is KD so much better than LeBron? Let me give let me give props. To LeBron James because this is one of the best shooting years that we've seen from him from three mid range all that that man's shooting phenomenal he is playing great and I my hats off to him completely but guess what I'm still picking Kevin Durant because I just what based off of what I seen Kevin Durant do against the Milwaukee Bucks all alone I'm still riding with that I still have faith yeah, in I that. that I seen LeBron James go through the, almost the same exact struggles and then. He didn't show up for his team the way Kevin Durant showed up for his team against the wow. Phoenix Suns. Wow. He did who's, not. He who's did your not. Three? Who's your three, Deb? Well, my three is KD, Giannis, and uh, LeBron in that order. KD, Giannis, LeBron? KD, Giannis, LeBron. So you, got, you literally got the same exact uh, um, order players. as nah, players as, as Shaq. Yeah, but I thought that I thought that Shaq was naming LeBron as the best uh, player in the league because he named the first. So that's my bad, Shaq. That's my bad. So this whole I mean, thing started because you no no and then he's then he went on this whole tangent saying that oh LeBron's definitely better than Kevin Durant. So then that's when we got into this whole thing. And I mean, Lightout said LeBron's the best player in the in the league, and I just don't agree at all with that at all. 
when you look at effective field goal percentage, and I think that ties in, what it does is it takes into account that threes are one and a half times more than a two. So that's all that effective field goal percentage is. Some put free throw percentages in it, some don't. I don't know what this website uses. Um, but Nikola Jokic is at 60%, accounting for everything. LeBron James is at 59%. Giannis is at 56%. Kevin Durant is at 56. Giannis is 56.5. And Steph Curry is 55.6%. So I don't, I don't, with my, KD's fourth. Um, so I'm, I'm just trying to figure out because I, I, I get it. KD's a stat guy, but even field goal percentage is regular. KD's 51%. Steph's 42%. LeBron is 52%. Giannis is 53%. Jokic is 56%. Shaq, I mean, what do you want me to say to that, Shaq? He, I, 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 I acknowledge know, I, that he's stat, shooting. I acknowledge he, that he's shooting. Because I'm not, a stat, that listen, I'm not a stat guy. I'm not a stat guy. But what I'm trying to let you know is I am a stat guy. And when I take into account <laughs> the eye test, along with that, <laughs> when I take into account the eye test, also along with this, I look at what LeBron James is doing right now, and I simply say it might be better than what Kevin Durant has been doing. He's been playing great, and I acknowledge that. But as I say, I trust Kevin Durant more than LeBron James in the playoffs. When that time is oh, ready, I trust whoa. him more. Wow, and that's always crazy. Like that. That's crazy. Whoa. For this season right now, for this that's season right nuts. now, for this season right now, I but trust that, him more. But, that's not, but that's not what we're asking either, though, right? We're just saying the best players in the league right now and not this season. But, but Euro, that is, that's the whole basis of all of my rankings. I'm always going with who do I feel is the best player to bring me to a championship. Oh, you, think Kevin, you think Kevin Durant right now? Let's just put him in an even playing field, right? Let's give KD the best, uh, the, the same team as LeBron James, right? You pick the players, right? Same team. Who if they have the same caliber of teammates, yeah, same caliber. I'm of picking teammates. KD. That's crazy. I'm picking KD's team right now. Right now. Wow. Maybe so there was a few you're years, trying to say, maybe it'd be different. I, so you're trying to tell me who, who, which team will win a championship first, LeBron, Kyrie, and James Harden, or LeBron, Kyrie, and James Harden? <laughs> you just said Wait. the same thing twice. <laughs> <laughs> LeBron got this hitty over here. <laughs> I'm picking LeBron, Kyrie, and James Harden. Okay, no, who are you picking? KD, 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 KD Kyrie, and LeBron. I mean, Katie, yeah, Le James Le Harden. I know you want to say Katie. LeBron, bro. It's like Katie, right there. James Harden, and Kyrie. It's right there. It's that right every, there. Everybody off the handy tonight, man. What's the handy? <laughs> Y'all need I, water. I promise you I'm choosing LeBron, Kyrie, and James Harden. over One, I've seen LeBron do it with Kyrie. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen K do it with, Katie do it without anybody that's not a potential MVP pick. Yo, he was up 2-1 on the champs. With don't do Kyrie. this. Right he don't, was. Don't do this. Don't, he don't, was. Because do right you, you guys, you guys give the same pass to LeBron when he lost Kyrie in 2015. So don't, don't, don't do this right now because you can't like, contact Ben when you, you because this is what you do. You just contact Ben when you want to. You want to bring up the fact that he was too up to him. What does that have to do with anything? They I know, lost. Another thing, another thing. So then, uh, when Kevin LeBron did, just lost in 2015, then. Perfect. The reason is that they were two, uh, they were up 2 1 with Kyrie and Harden, or with this Kyrie on the court. LeBron played the Golden State Warriors without Kevin Love and Kyrie. And with all that, he dragged it. Yeah, so KD didn't drag it? He did. But when you talk about that, he still had Kyrie on his squad when LeBron did it. LeBron it had was him. LeBron, LeBron was, played two was, games, two two games with Kyrie the yeah, same the yeah. same way. And how many did he play without? Four. This is almost the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Kyrie play, Kyrie played in 2015 in the finals. Yes, he did. Bro, yeah, but I, he, he got injured I've game two, right? Game two, I believe. I'm and it was up. early. It. it was no, no. He, I don't know. I know it was game two. Was that game two or game three? I don't remember. Or it's early Kyrie in game three. Game one. Kyrie got hurt game one. That's what the chat is saying. I don't he came back, that. but Kyrie, didn't he come back? No. Kyrie, yeah, he he, he missed game one. Yep. He what? played game one. What series was it that he came, he got hurt and he came back? He had some with his leg, right? I think it was in Yeah, that was against the Atlanta Hawks. Wait, game one? What are y'all talking about? In overtime, 44 in minutes in game one. What are you guys in talking overtime, about? In overtime. Yeah, in overtime. Um, you're, you're, I think you're talking about when they went up uh, against, he sat out 
Yo, LeBron was really murking cats too. I don't know if it was against the Hawks or the series before they played the Hawks. He got injured. Mm. Game two, LeBron ran it up. He came back, had to leave again, and then he was back for the finals. I don't know what year it was though. Twenty fifteen, maybe the first year that they lost. I think it was that. I think it was that year. I don't know. Kyrie uh-huh. be doing. Um, I got a quick question. I know we have to move along. Wait, um, wait, hold this- on. Euro hasn't given his top three. All right. Um, I was like I said, I was basing it off of what the doc said. The doc said best player in the league and not this season, like just, you know, in the league. And so I'm thinking Steph, obviously shooting, you know, what I mean, despite the, you know, downturn and numbers that he's having right now, plus his pedigree, he knows how to get it done. KD, most lethal. Um, and also um, he's proven and a lot of people will knock him for this. But to me, KD, as the superstar that he is, has proven that he's able to be plugged in with other potential contributors on a lot, like on a larger scale and still be able to function. Like he won two chips with the Dubs. People might say that's easy. I think, you know I mean? It's not as easy as everybody's making it seem just because you have Clay and Steph and Dre and whatever, you know what I mean? Um, He's also proven that right now they may not, we expect championship level from KD, but they are first or excuse me, second in the East. You know what I'm saying? They're playing at a high clip and he's doing that with some, some big dogs by his side as well. Again, something that's not all that easy in my opinion, of course. Once you figure it out, then it's smooth sailing. But I think that's an attribute that Katie has that a lot of superstars don't have, i.e. Russell Westbrook. Not to call him a superstar, but you get what I'm saying. And then, of course, lastly, Bron, um, because in my opinion, this guy, position-wise, is the, one of the most interchangeable people like players ever. So we run it with that. His IQ, and again, you know, he has the pedigree. This guy had been to the finals for a decade straight. Like, come on, man. Fire. Jack, ask your question. Then I want to do this player's choice because this <laughs> looks like the most fire topic we've ever had. Um, I wish that was here for it. Um, here's the thing, Chad. Everybody's saying that we're 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 <laughs> we're teaming up on Dub. I get it. I get it. I know <laughs> what it's going through. You you know when Future was like, I think 56, 56 nights crazy. Y'all don't understand what I've been through up here on this panel. Is and that's a fact. For, of getting <laughs> ganged up on night after night. It felt like a prison, a jail cell <laughs> with Dub, <laughs> Dale, nah, and yeah. just taking turns, kicking me in the nose, <laughs> grabbing me by my fro, <laughs> throwing me into the bench. So when I get the opportunity to do this to Dub when Dale's Missing in action, I'm going to. And when Big Brother gets back, I'm pretty sure the stars will align. <laughs> but, but right now, <laughs> Dub needs this. <laughs> okay. It's helping his growth. <laughs> nah, honestly, though, um, that's the thing that people got to look at, bro. It's like, don't don't feel bad if I'm going through some stuff up here because at the end of the day, it's, it's all to make you better. You feel me? Yeah. It's all love. And, and, that's, and that's the way you look at it. Yeah, I and promise there's the only like two people who care, but listen, all the struggles you go through just in life in general, bro, all that, bro, everything, all the struggles, all the pain is all to make you better, bro. So just keep pushing forward. And I promise you, Dub Dub is going to a lot of other podcasts and washing guys up. I mean, he he he's grabbing all the energy from Euro, <laughs> me, Dale, and he's taking it to other podcasts, reshaping it <laughs> and releasing energy. So stop sleeping on Dub, but he's Facts. gonna get this. Day. <laughs> I was watching that one podcast, Dove. You were killing it. Which one? Uh Table for One. Oh yeah. That was yeah, yeah that was that was fun. That was yeah. easy. That was dope. I wish I could debate. Yo, Junior, thank you for the sub. Um, let's do this players court. So chat, here's what you have to do. One through ten. Everyone puts a number. Any number, one through ten. I'm gonna do my best to see what I can pick out is the most typed numbers, I guess. Thing. Um, and we're gonna do three topics. We have topics up here on the dock, and whatever the three most numbers that you guys type, we're gonna use those topics. Everyone's gonna have 24 seconds to make their case for that topic, and then you guys are going to vote someone out each round. We're gonna see <laughs> who can who can win the most. We got two eights, three eights. <sighs> All right, eight's gonna be a topic. 
I see a lot of sixes. I hate that. No, because sixes beat it. I hate. I see a lot of sixes, a lot of threes, and a lot of eights off the rip. I do too. I'm going eight, six, three. So we're going three. Okay. Here you go. Oh my three, god. Three, six, eight. All right, we're gonna start. We're gonna just do it chronological order. Start with three, and six, and eight. All right. <laughs> what we should have done. Go? What we should have done because now we can prepare. Technically, we should have just done the first one, and then had them redo numbers. Yeah, Laurie, let's do that. Let's let, do okay. That? Let's okay. let's let's do it like that. Let's do now that. pick a number. All right. We're doing we're doing six. Like we're doing six for topic one, and then after this first topic, we'll come back and ask the chat for a new number. We're doing six because I saw okay. a lot of sixes. <laughs> ah, Aww. this is gonna be so great. Okay, everyone has 24 seconds. Just to reiterate, 24 seconds to argue the topic of the most underrated asset slash player. Now, okay. chat. How do we do this? You know what? I'm just gonna pick, in for sake of time, in that's fair. Making sure we're not just sitting here. What's up, Deb? <laughs> uh, can I go first? Hold on, yeah. wait. That's what I was going to say. Are we, going, are, we going, are we going all time or are we going like right now? How, you can interpret oh. it however you want to. Okay, okay. And, oh, wow. And Because and, here's the thing. Chat is judge. Chat, t- chat gets to pick who's getting voted off the island after this topic. Mm. Okay. So you just have to um, and, please chat. And it pays to go first, but it also it's a two-edged sword. Because if your topic gets picked or your player gets picked... That's your fault. You shouldn't have waited to the end, but it's an advantage to go in first as uh, last as well. You can be prepared and know what you're getting into. So um, I'll let Dub shoot himself in the foot um, if he wants to. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to go? I'll go real quick. All uh, right. You got 24 seconds, though. You know that. Yeah, it's easy. It's an easy one. Okay. 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 Um, I'm going with most underrated, right? Uh, right Asset now. Asset or player? Player, right now. Most underrated player right now. Uh, we talked about last at the episode, Nikola Vucevic. I believe a lot of the dirty work that he's been doing for that team is going unrecognized. I believe Dell said this in the chat earlier that it's harder to replace Vucevic and for a guy to do what he does for that team than a guy like Lonzo Ball. Of course, Zach Levine and DeMar DeRozan are the two-headed monsters of that team. But what Vucevic does on a night-in-night-out right. basis, him being oh. able to space the floor, right. rebound the ball, and play defense is very helpful to that team. Hey, yo. That was fire. Okay, Dub. <laughs> Got it. Okay, Thanks. Dub. Thanks for the countdown. I didn't know how much how much time I had left. Does anyone want to go next? I'll go next. All right. Uh, All right. unless no, no, I'll, I'll unless somebody else wants to take the floor. What happens if uh your pick is whatever the previous person said? Also, do you still have to reiterate? <laughs> no, chat. if your pick is if your pick is picked, your your is is done. The That's chat fine. is nasty. So, so I you gotta, so I gotta pick another one on the spot. Yeah, you gotta. Oh, that's nasty. All right, bet. Let's go. Hey, who's up? Yo, are you going? Let the chat decide. Oh, okay. Who's going next? Mm, <laughs> they're already <laughs> they're already voting <laughs> Dub out, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'll go next. I'll go. All next. right, go ahead. Light up. Yeah, uh, I'm going all time. And I had this conversation with my dad the other day. I think one of the most underrated players, underrated assets is Manu Ginobili. I think people don't really talk about Manu that much. Um, he was a really key uh, part of the San Antonio Spurs success. And when we talk about Tim Duncan being, you know, arguably the greatest power forward of all time. We don't mention Tony Parker. We don't men- uh, mention uh, Manu, Manu Ginobili. And I feel like he needs to be more appreciated. Bye. Oh, I got a little beeper in my ears, too. All right. <laughs> <laughs> your own, your, your own check. You want to play rock paper scissors for this, or does someone just want to go? Shot, shot, go ahead. All right. Um, I'll give Euro a second. Um, I, you know, I'm just gonna. This is the first round. I'm pretty sure I'll be voted into the next, so I'll go easy. Um, are we ready? <laughs> oh, okay. I was starting the clock because I was just starting when you talked. But okay. Oh, well, you can because I, I don't st- need that much. Time I stopped it. I stopped most- it. Okay, the most underrated asset of all time to, with anything to do with the NBA is for sure defense and team defense to be exact. I understand that these offensive players get glorified. They're the only guys qualifying for MVPs every year, year, year in and year out. But when you go to the playoffs, which teams usually rise to the top is the best defensive team, even to the conference semifinals. Now you got guys that come in and they're hot and you guys say they lay an egg. And to Euro's point, but no, they're just getting shut down by the defense. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Look at 
<laughs> All right. get turned up in the playoffs, baby. That guy stuck. You see that? <laughs> Yo, Jenny, I don't need that timer. Just give me the ant, ant. Just give me that. <laughs> and then you started at three, so I'm like, <laughs> I said five. You just might not heard me. I, might it's like GTI. It you should just mute somebody. All right, so I will literally mute you once twenty four four seconds comes up. So can I get I'll, seven second um reminder? I like that better. No, instead I'm, of go, five. I'm gonna just mute, so it's gonna be fire. You're gonna just mid slow. No, no, I'm <laughs> ram. Hey, don't let him know count, either. Don't let seven. I just the countdown's kind of a, probably annoying. Like hear that over the thing so i'm just literally i mean you're mute. whispering it into my ear like my wife i'm like oh i was yes, trying to make sure that your take is you can hear it. anyway yeah. yeah i'm just gonna mute you at 24 <sighs> seconds i'm not giving you anything <laughs> All right. when you're ready you're yeah. right, let me know right. i'm ready go ahead <clears throat> uh, i'm gonna piggyback off what Shaq said and uh, but i'm gonna take it a step further and say coaching most underrated you know asset for the simple fact that obviously, you know, you need defense, but if you have a trash coach that's not defensive minded, like the D'Antoni, you know what I mean? And less than seven seconds sons or whatever the case may be, you're going to create some highlights, you know what I mean? You're going to be entertaining, but you're not going to win anything in my opinion. Um, and then also, you know, you have to have, of course, you know, the offensive end, you know, clicking. So. Thank you, Yarl. <laughs> <laughs> that's Yo, so that rude. He was lying. the only one that that didn't happen to. <laughs> that's the only cut. one that didn't Literally. happen to. Get That's so music. rude. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, um, Yo, so uh, what so happened? I didn't, I didn't get it. Out. You got muted. No, we, got we heard. Muted, we, so basically, we basically, we basically off. heard your thing, but at the end, we, it got cut up. All right, JD, yeah, yeah. you dirty mother. Right. So, <laughs> I love that. By the way, I'm, I'm right. doing that for the rest of the topic. All right, chat, vote someone out for this round. Yo, I so think whoever had the worst one, you vote out, and then we move to the next then round. To the next um, JD, and also, I think it's best to say the order before we yep, know the topic. I agree. I agree. So what we're going to do is they're going to give me topic after we figure out or after we tell Dub that he's gone. <laughs> then, they really voted out. me out? Yeah. yeah. That's so I mean, rude. Yeah, you're gone. Dub, who so... in that arena is not going <laughs> to bode well? <laughs> bode well bye bye, everybody. Dub. Dub logging off. <laughs> wow. Dub, it, That's like, it, like not care. one other person. This is crazy. Um, oh, my God. Okay. All right. We get it. Dub's gone. Give uh, us a new number. You can't pick. Six. Six is already gone. Um, start typing in numbers, and then once we pick the number, chat, you're going to decide the order between uh, Shaq, your own light out. I like that, so I remember. It's a I love I this, Shaq, by the way. We got yeah, this is this is nice. This is nice. This is fine. I, 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 we'll, we'll just keep the ones that don't get picked and replace the other ones. Yeah, but I, exactly. Oh, God, why do they keep typing that number? <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, we didn't choose who go first. No, we're doing the number, the topic first, and then. Oh, you want to go pick who to goes go first, first because I want somebody to be caught off guard. Oh, okay. Because someone, just, while these just... numbers are going, give me an order, and I'll be able to. Okay, just... that's fair. I think <laughs> I know what topic. I see a lot. Of Yo, these too. guys are insane, bro. <laughs> <laughs> these guys are crazy. They said Vucevic hasn't been good all year. Are you guys insane, bro? What, <laughs> bro? I don't know what the hell to say to these guys. Dub had to double check what people were saying about him. No, you have to because now I'm double checking and it's all false what they're saying. He had one stretch where it was it was bad, but the rest invite, of the invite gone. him to the clubhouse. All right. Dub. Yeah, come through to the clubhouse, right. please, because Euro. you guys are insane. Euro, you're first. So here's the order. No, I'm not even gonna give you the order. Euro, you're first though. Okay. We're doing best rookie. You have 10 seconds to fit to get your rookie. All right, I got one. All right, ready? Yep. Go ahead. Kareem Abdul Jabbar, formerly known as Lou Alcindor, New York legend. And he was cooking straight. You know what I mean? He gave uh, Bill Russell work in the um in the finals in his rookie year. So that's all I'm saying. Didn't even give it time to hit 10 seconds left. I like it. All right, Shaq. Best rookie. Um, it's, it's probably Carmelo Anthony. Um, he averaged 21 and seven. He got robbed of a, of a rookie of the year as, um, Dale notoriously notes. Um, but I mean, we should have seen the writing on the wall. Not only did he follow it up, he's top 10 all time in scoring. Um, what, what else do we need to say? 
Melo's rookie year was off the charts and they got overshadowed by LeBron James, but that just what happens. Um, I don't think Carmelo ever got a first. Thank you, Shaq. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The clubhouse, bro. You guys are insane. Like, insane. Right. That's why he's the most underrated player in the league. You guys are crazy. Light out. <laughs> All right. Do I start now? Yeah, and you, you can take literally right. anyone, apparently. <laughs> All right, so the best rookie of all time is Michael Jordan. The man averaged 28 points per game, six rebounds, five assists, two steals, almost one block, and then he's the only other rookie that has ever averaged 20 points, five rebounds, and five assists in his rookie season. Fire. Ten seconds still left. Um, Okay, chat. Jack, I'm sorry. I have to search that one up. <laughs> Oh my God! I'm so Shaq is still muted. You know, here, I was still muted. Here's the thing. Here, here's what happened right there. If I can explain my case, and I and I almost demand a redo, but let me tell you why, Jenny. <laughs> let me tell you why. I was not prepared for that. I thought we were doing best rookies in the NBA right now, and then Euro just jumps off a cliff. I, hey, that's, that's fire. why. Listen, man, I had to parachute on deck, man. The last, it. the last topic, Shaq. You said all time, and there was no more context here. There was there was plenty of context. Hey, Look what it says on the doc. It says it says best, best rookie. rookie. Yeah. How do you think no context. everything <laughs> else says greatest team of all time? Best rookie. Best player in the league. All right. Most underrated asset I, player I feel like of I all got... time. There was nothing else there. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, chat. Euro and light out. Oh. I'm about to make the order. <laughs> Go like this. I think me and Dub should be able to make the order as the losers. Um, yeah, uh, light, light out first. Right. Yeah, no, 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 That's, no. That I, was I what I did. <laughs> I put okay. light out Euro. All right, you want Euro light out? That's fine. All right, Go yeah, Euro so light brother. out. All right, chat numbers, numbers, no threes, no sixes, one through ten. This is like my favorite oh, thing in the also, world now. Me and Dub should be able to pick the topic. Yeah, let's pick the topic because. All right, no, we'll let, we'll let the chat, but we can see the topics. The chat can't, so nah, I know. What forget the chat, man. Forget them. They ain't bad graces. Y'all don't four. want that one. All right. Uh, <laughs> well. Yeah, I like that one, chat. Yeah, let's go with that one. All right, one. here we go. This is going to be funny. Light out. It is on you for most underrated coach. You got 10 seconds. I'm going to go Eric Spolstra. I think he deserves more credit. Uh, when we start talking about the greatest coaches of all time, he has been having a successful run with the Miami Heat, has always been winning, and no one talks enough about him. So I'm going Eric Spolstra. Boom. All right. Wow. All right, Euro. <laughs> so much time left. Good night, Euro. Good night? Really? Yeah. Go <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready over here. All right. I'm going to go Pat Riley. Number one, he put he gave Eric Spolstra his job, so he knows what he's doing. Also, I lost. Also, he has <laughs> also he fought <laughs> some monsters of squads with New York and Miami. So boom. Oh, but, oh, okay, that's fine. all right, chat. Who are you voting off? Hey, Euro, is this gonna be your segment? Off? Listen, no, man. I'm sorry, bro. I, me personally, I'm giving that to Light Up because Pat Riley's still regarded as a top three. That's coach right, of all Dub. Time. Tell him. So it's like, but he's no not talked about. He's not talked about like that. I get it, but. To the point of what Lightout said, like Eric Spolstra, bro, even after LeBron left, yep. you never felt felt. To no, that's team. fine. But what I'm saying is like, if you are one of the greats and you are literally never talked about, that means what? Bro, when they when everybody mentions their top five, Pat Riley's always in that. That's right. Who, that's what whoever, I was gonna ask. whoever mentions top five coaches, number one. And that's a that's a great fact. But I mean who, whoever mentions top five coaches. But what are your top five coaches right who, now? Who would you be? Who would wait, 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 real quick? Who would you pick? Phil Jackson, Greg, or Pat Riley? Start bench cut. Bro, I don't know who's gonna win. They're saying Euro, light out, Euro, light out. Yeah, this is pretty 50 50. Yeah. Um, I mean, my, my vote is with Euro as well. No, you know, wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't wait. Who would start bench <laughs> cut? Greg Pop, Phil Jackson, and I, Pat Riley. I, think, I, I, mean, think... I mean, I'm, of course, I'm cutting Pat. That's also the reason why I chose him just now because he's the most underrated. You pin him, you pin him against, you know, two of the arguably like the greatest coaches ever. But then yeah. outside of those two, he's right there. That's what the I'm point. saying is, what I'm saying is like, are people, people even mentioning this guy? 
I didn't even pick it up. If you're on YouTube, you put your I picks see your in point. the chat. I see your we'll point. We'll add that. Who won? Yeah, I got close. I let, yo, I got, I got close, man. All right, this one, make sure you pick who won for the poll. I, I don't Yeah, that's tough. That's a tough one. I don't know. Light out was even said I you, won. Bro. No, that's not true. You misheard. You <laughs> yeah, like I can't believe you gave up like that, bro. I, I liked your pick. No, the reason I Yo, said that is because he said he said Pat Riley gave up his job. I'm like, oh my god, mm, yeah. But still, it's like Pat Riley gave him that job for a reason. That is true. Yeah, I mean, it takes greatness to know greatness. Come on, vote light out, guys. They're what both great. Doing? Come on, man. But they're both Miami Heat coaches, though. Do, love is love. Do you guys want to end on a draft? Yes, sir. Either we're running players court back or we're doing a draft. I'm, I am see the draft, and I want the draft. Yeah, let's do the draft. I, that's, I, I got very excited when I saw the draft. Oh, but oh. do Devin Euro have any hot takes? I thought so, too, Jay. Do Devin Euro have any hot takes before we go? No, no, no. I, I want to say that. I want to say that. Uh, uh, heard Euro, you heard officially won, bro. Already. Congrats. Did he we wash him? Oh, baby. He, yeah, I mean, 6 to 13. Oh, okay. Wash. All right. So best we're, we're not app. doing hot takes? Okay, so best app. Hold on. Sorry, I got to write these down. I'll tell the I'll tell the, the, the audience about the draft um, and to YouTube viewers. Draft number two is the first round is best app. Best application on your phone. Number two is worst things about flying. It can be anything. Get creative. Third is best actress. Fourth is worst sequels, and we'll know if you Googled. Fifth is best item on any fast food menu. Sixth is best invention after 2015. Wow, best invention after 2015. Uh, okay. Uh JD Shaq, Euro Light Out Dub. Someone already picked an order unless Shaq, you want to do a I'm still working. Uh it. oh yeah, do it. Whatever, whoever's first, that usually gets it. That and I'm team. glad I'm second. And this will be a snake draft. I'm a little hurt that I lost. I wanted to win. JD Shaq, bro. That would have been a good first one to take home in the history. Yeah. Although it's an asterisk by because Dale's not here, and that's his forte. That is. I'm happy he wasn't here too, because then he would have he would have beat he would have beat us definitely. Listen, uh, with creating that new segment, I just thought how Dale, but I, I see that Euro will be able to put up some resistance, but I'm probably gonna get creamed 70% because it's four rounds. That's tough. Or three rounds. They have a bias towards me. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Boost, man. This is why, drafts, bro, please, bro. This is why I won a couple, a uh, couple weeks ago or something. Like oh, that. Deb, you're gonna like slowly that. win the people over over the next few years. But if you think you're gonna get it all back in, in, in <laughs> one show <laughs> after all, the nah, bro. That, no, that just <laughs> got me. That got me so heated. Like, bro, you telling me Vucevic is not underrated? That is the reason why he is underrated because nobody thinks that at all. They be like, oh, he's yeah. been playing trash all year, bro. What? <laughs> Dub, 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 listen to me, listen to me. You have such an outstanding record in the Players Choice community as far as atrocities committed against the people that they will not forgive you that easy. <laughs> you yeah. have to work it back up. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, yeah I see. I Especially see when you're point. hiding behind Sheriff Dale James. <laughs> you, can't see you need to step away from that shadow if you have we got an opening over here at Shaq Army, but you got to we'll let <laughs> you you keep a few of those takes. But I <laughs> nah, see. So this is the thing. This is the thing I think a lot of people do in the media is they try too hard to sound right instead of sounding how they exactly feel. Ew. I just learn more towards of it, how I exactly feel instead Ew. of in I, you know how easy it is to sound correct. It's very it's really easy. easy. It's not it's hard. Really easy. And know how easy it is to make yourself sound smarter than what you are. It's actually the easiest thing possible. I do it every day. Yeah, yeah so it's, it's like I, I'd rather just go with what I feel instead of trying to sound correct because sounding correct is boring. Yeah, All right. that player score, I, I kind of surprised myself. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I <laughs> am I'm starting <laughs> off with the best app, and I'm going with Twitter. 
And also, picks cannot be repeated. Um, and that's a funny pick. For by far the best app. Oh, I'm I'm second, and you gotta go best app. This is like this dictates your team. This is the superstar row. Um yeah, for sure. You have to get this out of the way. Twitter is not. Twitter but is torn the most entertaining two, shit. Three. It's funny, but it's not the most entertaining. So with that being said, I'm going to go with TikTok is taking over the world. That's great. Good pick. TikTok, TikTok's good, but Twitter has the funniest people. I do, but I feel, I feel like, like that's more for old does. heads. The yeah, thing on Twitter, it can't, the algorithm doesn't work in your favor to always see something funny across your feed. No offense, dude. I'm not calling you old. I'm just, just saying. Because the algorithm on Twitter is SEO based. That's why. Yeah. So I like the algorithm on TikTok that knows exactly what I want to see. And another app. <laughs> You're Best, a- me though. Best app, hands down, because you can actually make money off of that. Like for real, YouTube. Ah. All right. Light out. Uh, I'm gonna but go with the on, most... wait. YouTube. Okay. It got, it right. got movies. It no, got that's great. Image, it got images. It got it like all kind of interactive stuff. You know what I mean? It got everything that it, these other social it media got apps images. Got. It I has it's, everything. I'm gonna let you get it, but like YouTube started out as a website. That's for the only thing. I'm like, <laughs> mm. Why? I'm hold gonna... on. You what's all what I mean? It's an app though. I hate I hate the YouTube app too. By the way, I hate y'all. YouTube listen, app. man. Y'all oh, not oh, gonna oh, keep. Oh. Y'all not gonna keep throwing technicalities at me, <laughs> no, man. Gone, dude. This is a... every time, <laughs> man. That's because nah, YouTube is great. Nah, YouTube man, is great. You're all with you, you on YouTube. I'm with you on YouTube. That is y'all, y'all, y'all just don't want to keep wait losing. That's an actress that no one's ever heard of. <laughs> yeah, I learned, I learned my lesson on that. I learned my lesson on that. I got one. He's, he's gonna pick the the one that doesn't use stunt doubles. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I just that was good, though. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> oh man. Ooh, oh man. All right, light up. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the uh, text messaging app. Well, that's what, 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 I message? Yeah, I message the default text message app that is on your phone. I think I think I message it. That I message. Yeah, I message. Yeah, I message. I yep. Text messaging app. Yeah, that's just nasty. what I message. Just what I message. That's what I said. So, do I have to stay on the app? Like, I can't. No, you can go oh. anywhere on the board. Oh, really? Yeah. I okay. Thought, Lado, you oh, can go again. Keep it. Let's keep it oh, like that, though. Lado, you can go again. It. You can go again. Light out. No, it's fine. I'll stay. I'll stay the same. I'll, but I'll know that for uh, for the next one. I'll, I'll uh, say I I messaging. Uh, I message for the the thing. And that's the thing about TikTok. Nobody would know about Players Choice if it wasn't for TikTok, the number one app in the world. This is, play, Players Choice would not even have been created. Hey, you can't because do I remember they, they, they would have picked YouTube. They would have picked YouTube. That's funny that you say that, JD. Do you want to bring up the analytics from the first four, five, six months of our YouTube um, birth? It was I, pretty nasty. I have PTSD from that. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we were getting like seven views. It was so, and YouTube did nothing for us. All because I mean, of the thumbnail. That's an established. <laughs> that's an established platform, though. They, they've been running since two thousand and four. And you know what I mean? The, the way but that what, they're doing it now. What YouTube needs to steal from TikTok is that you should be able to let anybody go viral. It's a shame that one of our podcasts, because they are in control of what audience audience gets to see it. So other uh, podcasts and have bigger audiences, one episode, they should show it to everybody, but they gradually want to build it up. And that's what I hate about YouTube, but it's monetization. So I get it. Dub. I'm going to pick Meryl Streep as actress. And then French fries as best fast food item. Yo, yo, Dub, you saying Meryl Streep, and you have to say which fast food um, item. And you also I mean, have to say which Meryl Streep movie, because I don't. Meryl Streep coming out of your mouth right now is the most Google thing I've seen on this show. And this is <laughs> best actress community. Best actress. Through. Best actress. Wait, oh, no. Uh, no, that actress. I just know about, like, her name and, like, how legendary yeah. she is. Google is a lie. good app. I'm doing yeah. look it up now. I just know, like, I just know a lot of people like Meryl Streep. So. Google's a bad app. What I've never just, been. That's your actual. No. What was? What's your other pick? Oh, Is French that... fries. But from which what? French fries? From which? From which yeah. place? What it says? Best fast food item. Yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah. So, like, clarify. From where? French fries. 
Dang, man, y'all gonna make me pick? Yeah, come yes, on. Yes, sir. Dang, who has the best French fries out of everybody? You guys don't know about dicks, but they by far have the best French fries. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> not even <laughs> name, a movie. name one movie Meryl Streep has been in, though. <laughs> so I, I said, I just know her name. I don't, I, I don't know her movies like that, but... That's like you watching the Utah Jazz. <laughs> I have watched the Utah Jazz. What are y'all talking about? Uh, five. Five. Damn, French fries. Screw it. I'm going to change it then. I'm going to change it to um, Philly cheesesteaks. Uh, there's yeah. no way From I'm Philly. ever eating a fast food Philly cheesesteak. Where what? are you getting? I've, fast I've never, food? I've never even seen a Philly cheesesteak no, on a fast food item. Are you throwing this draft? <laughs> yeah, are you? Th- <laughs> are you? Bro, throwing you. Bro, I, I don't want to. You are. You know what fast food is? <laughs> a Philly cheesesteak is fast food. What? From where? From where? Yeah, from, from what? Philly. From where? From Philly. What's that Philly place I go to? I forget it. That is I a mean, bad pick up. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> you oh my god. That you're drinking I, this is insane. I'm trying to right remember. Now. I haven't been there in a very long time, but oh my god, what's that cheesesteak place? I forget it, but they're amazing. French fries, I'll go with McDonald's French fries, I guess. All right, that's a good pick. I'm gonna Yo, go with T-Bone, the McNuggets. T-Bone, T-Bone said in all caps, Deb, you never fail to disappoint. And that's exactly <laughs> like you're just always on timing. <laughs> you guys, bro, I'm telling you, bro, yo, cheese Philly cheesesteaks is fast food. You go to Philly, there's a store. There are actually two cheesesteak places across from each other. It's a fast food joint, bro. They're good as hell. I forget what it's called. I don't believe you. I don't care what you say right <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, you you're don't believe not gonna me? convince me. I got you. When I when I go, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a plan to go out there soon. I'm gonna send you pictures. All right, you better have the the stopwatch on your phone going. From no, when you fly order. to Vegas, just just bring one. When you fly to Vegas, <laughs> I'll I'll eat it. I promise. Have you guys ever had a Philly cheesesteak? I love Philly cheesesteaks. But you know yeah, what? Man. New York's cheesesteaks is fire as well. Yes, chopped cheese. Is, yeah, for sure. Especially from the corner stores. I like them. I ain't gonna find. I like them better than actual like Philly cheesesteaks. Yeah, me too. Me too. It's fine. Yeah, I'm hung. I'm literally hungry now. I might go get a Philly cheesesteak from McDonald's later. Uh, Europe. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna go. <clears throat> best actress. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Oh, y'all gonna call me Scarlett Johansson. That's Bro, a good pick. I was pick. gonna pick that. I was gonna pick that. Garlic. Just because you know, it's her. like she's like the superhero. You know what I mean? For the Garlet women, right? Is too. Um. Well, no. since she's still up here, I'm about to ring some bells with my best actress, just because I don't want her to get picked by don't JD. You, and don't, I don't, don't you dare! Don't, don't you dare! Don't you dare! I'm don't actually dare. gonna be upset if you're not gonna pick him because there's other places that I could go just right don't. now. But I'm gonna go Angelina Jolie for obvious reasons. All right, thank God. What's the most obvious one? And, oh, movie. Movie. and I mean movie. I mean, Mr. and Mrs. Smith is iconic. I don't care what you think about the movie. I'm taking Sandra Bullock. And she's an amazing producer uh, also, by the way. I like, mean, I'm, I'm it, going off of... This is how I know I don't watch <laughs> movies because like, I don't know these people by names. I know them by like the characters they played. You don't know who and Sandra Raider. Bullock is? But Angelina Jolie. You don't know Sandra so Bullock? I don't. Sack, Sack, oh. Sack, Sack. You know that Angelina I was Jolie. Gonna, I was going to give you Mr. and Mrs. Joe Smith, Hansen. and then you said Tomb Raider. And believe it or not, I recently <laughs> rewatched that. That one is no, no. awful. Oh, no. There's a lot of movies that you can go back and rewatch and you could say are horrible now. Go watch Napoleon Dynamite again. You'll laugh two times. It's, Yo, that, that just happens across. That's did you guys? I know the movie by heart. Did you guys not hear Light Out? He doesn't know who Sandra Bullock is. I don't. That's Sandra, cool. That's I understand that. Movie. How does he oh, understand that? that? What? Well, Sandra Bullock. She was in the uh, on the bro, she's, side. Uh, who else? Uh, that she's, she did speed. Box. She's in Speed One. No, speed. she's in the first Speed. You know what Bird Box is. Miss Congeniality, Bird yeah. Box. Oh, Bird Box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that, that Bird movie? Box. <laughs> dope. I mean, not dope. Light out. How are we, like, around the same age and, like, I'm more familiar with Sandra Bullock than you? Hey, man, I'm more fluent with basketball talk. I mean, it's just different. Fire. <laughs> it's different. Fire. <laughs> Yo, light out. Touche. <laughs> <laughs> it's fire. 
<laughs> so great. Don't, don't take that dub. Fight back. <laughs> no, that's that was don't a great let no rivals brother, come on here. Brother, Hats <laughs> off. Brothers are fighting, bro. Brothers Hats are off to you. Hats <laughs> off to you, bro. That was great. Oh, man. Best um, invention after 20. That's where you're going. 15. Like, what has been invented after 2015? All right, maybe we don't go there. I want to get worse sequel off. <laughs> kind of man the field right now. Because I was, I was trying to think of worse sequel, and then it was, like, just not coming to me. So now I'm like, okay, best invention. I want to get the best invention to just get it off the table. Because mm-hmm. uh, worst thing about flying, like, I'm literally doing that last. Maybe I go best fast food. Oh, I'm going Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A. Wait, Chick Fil A sandwich. Best fast food item. Chick Fil A sandwich. Is that how you spell it? All right, it's on you, Shaq. It's on me, huh? With a K. Yeah, best invention's a little murky. I don't know if I want to get into that space yet. Um. Worst things about flying. I know. Uh, I don't know if I have a home run there. That's what I'm saying. I do. I do too. The worst thing about flying has to be their suggestion. <laughs> you, you don't. You I don't want this it. to be picked. Yeah, I do. I do. The worst thing about flying, <laughs> the worst thing about flying is having to sit through that. Um, in case of emergency. <laughs> yeah. That's the worst yeah, thing yeah, about flying. Yeah. That's the worst and dumbest thing about flying. The chances of my survival rate are essentially zero. Stop wasting my time with this nonsense. What what would you call that? The emergency tutorial? No, the, 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 the safety uh safety <laughs> guidelines. You talking about the whole the full safety thing or are you talking about sitting in an Wait. emergency, bro? No, I'm talking about when the ladies come up there and they <laughs> give us the, the whole rundown. Whatever, the That's like menu. running into McDonald's and trying to give me a vegan menu. Like, it's just like, I'm oh, already I'm here. Plugged in. Like, whatever's happened is going to happen. I'm not listening to that. Yeah. The yeah. safety um, spiel. Yeah, emergency soliloquy. <laughs> <laughs> emergency soliloquy. I like safety that. Safety silo. Shout out Ghost Saints. <laughs> Doing safety silo. Silo. How do you spell soliloquy? S I L O Q U uh, Y, I believe. S O Lil Oakwe. No, S I. <laughs> it's me, right? Oh, who is it? Yeah, it's on you. Uh, <laughs> Bro, I'm just tripping. Um, I'm going to go. Worst thing about flying is layovers. Wow, JD, do you need some help? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. When me and Dale are texting, so we're looking for the first two years, it was nuts. <laughs> this is, uh, Three L's, this is bro. Terrible. You said, um, Euro, uh, so I said layovers for a worst thing about flying for sure. The worst thing is that how you actually spell it? So no, liloquy, yeah, that's how you spell it. It's an O instead of the U at the end. Oh, so lilo qui q u y. Yeah, so, soliloquy is one of the hardest words to ever yeah, spell. Yeah, q u y. Yeah, I, don't, I only mm-hmm. found out that word because of this show. You're welcome. It's on you, I still think you're wrong. No, um, I'm gonna go worst thing about flying. And this is more of a personal thing. It's flying itself. I hate flying. Um, that's, I just never liked that's a good one. Yeah. Wow, I can't believe everyone's doing flying right now. Like, what I just go, whoever goes, <laughs> I just keep you see, I'm a trendsetter, <laughs> I'm a, like, like how I try to convince you every, every, uh, every um, uh, round is the, the most important round. <laughs> now everybody's <laughs> taking off about flying. You don't let that go over your head. <laughs> Fire, Shaq. That was a Twitter moment. <laughs> Everybody's taking off about flying. <laughs> Dub, I'm going to throw it out there a couple more times so you catch on. Everybody's taking off about flying. Oh, my God. Yo, shout hilarious. out Low. 
Legend of winning in the building. Thank you for the sub. What's Five good, love? Let's get it. Dub, you got back to back over here. Um, using the bathroom in the in the fly. I hate <laughs> using the bathroom there. I never used it. Yeah. Uh, best invention after twenty fifteen is Uber. Ooh, was that hold was on. that after twenty fifteen? When was Uber? Founded yeah, 2009. Are you nuts? Oh, wow. Damn, That's I was about to say. Up. Are you serious? Really? Um, that's serious. I mean, that's the, the thing about these tech fun, companies, man. you know what I mean? Like like Amazon, for example, ain't, ain't get popping until like later, but that that's was like, true. that's a company from like when, you know. Or even Bitcoin, 80s. that was also 2009. I was reading the story of Bitcoin. It's a real interesting one. They were talking about... uh. Sakatashi, the inventor that nobody knows, <laughs> is the inventor. So I it's can't, I, I can't, I can't use Uber based off of technicality because I don't think people started using Uber till like 2015, 2016, right? Oh, what? <laughs> right? Yeah. Yo, what are you trying to get off right now? Because I, I, yeah, I, yeah, you tripping. <laughs> this is invented, not maybe, when people maybe, started adopting yeah, it. Yeah, and maybe not when, when where you live in. <laughs> Why is the chat saying I have dad jokes? I'm not going to lie. I feel like a dad. 2015. I have two children. My first one is six. And my, my last one is. I'll go normal. with. I'll go with. I'll go with AirPods. And I'm talking to my son. He says he has a girlfriend. Shout out. Um. Alexa and I'm like have you guys kissed this is like pre-k that they're in and he looks me dead and I because we're on zoom call he's with my family right now and he says no I can't kiss her in school it's COVID and I said that's what you're getting <laughs> off at six <laughs> oh man that's nuts <laughs> so you let out um I'm gonna go best invention after 2015 wait is is the Oculus was that made in 2015? I mean, it's made after. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. It is. I'm gonna go with the Oculus or the VR headset. 2012. I was gonna pick it. It was Oculus. Maybe that's when it was yeah, don't, found. Don't let him get it off. When was the Oculus Rift invented? 2012. That was. So really? what's the other one? The Oculus. West too. Yeah. Don't let him get this off. No, nah, he, 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 no, he got it. He got it. Cause Oculus, I'm gonna use that. Yeah. I'm gonna use that same yeah. loophole. Oculus Go ahead. Rift, the Oculus Rift S. That was the newest one. Cause I bought that one. Hold on. Now yeah, how nasty are we getting? Because I can say like, Oh yeah, the iPhone, whatever new number, you know, just right. came out after 2015. It so like, right. it won't bode well with the fans, but okay. I don't think anybody says iPhone 13 is the best invention after 2015, but if that's where you want to go, no, Oculus I'm... is the best invention. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you're doing Oculus Rift 2? S. Oculus Rift S? Yeah. It's right I want here. a VR headset so bad. When uh, was Euro? Um, best invention. I'm gonna go that. I'm gonna do the exact same thing that uh, Lada just did. I'm gonna go uh, Tesla Model X. Fire! I like that one. So wait, he's getting Oculus off, but it was invented dub, in 2012. Should, yeah, Dub, you should start. This is where you start trying to get whatever you were trying to get off back. Uber's Are you kind serious? of nasty, but. Are you they're, they're getting nasty but, right but now. But when was when was Uber created? Yeah, they're getting that's the thing. Real nasty. Oh, when was it created? Because I said 2009. The Oculus Rift S. I mean, it was right after 2015. I'm just yeah. updated technology. I'm just playing the game, man. Y'all guys are ridiculous. <laughs> Can't believe y'all. Dub always gets mad I mean, listen, when someone you got, figures you got out the, the same loophole. standard now. You got the same standard. Jack you can do the my, same thing. It's on you, my Shaq. pick. It's on Shaq. <clears throat> Ooh. What? Yo, chat, chat, chat. We gotta, chat. We, we gotta be respectful to Dub, guys. No, we don't. No, no. Okay. I'll take no, it back. <laughs> Listen, I grew, up, bro. Trust me, I grew up. Me and my brother, bro. The thing, the things we say. To yeah, me and bro, you. Bro, yeah. Like, not you, bro. Me and me, and older bro, bro. Like, 
he's like make me immune to like all this banter after and, i saw what he said to his younger brother i was like okay oh you, hmm. you heard that what did i <laughs> never mind this was <laughs> weeks ago i was like wow oh uh, yeah you gotta you know make sure nobody you know can make him get in his feels so we gotta put him in his feels <laughs> wow. open him up are we it's ready perfect. for my worst sequel yeah yep <laughs> This is a bad sequel. <laughs> like, like you're gonna read this and it's just gonna do well um, everywhere on YouTube, Instagram. I can't wait. Um, Titanic two. Wow, that's a thing. That's a thing. What? That's a great one because I didn't that? even know it was the gonna... second movie. <laughs> wow, it's gonna do well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go. I gotta, I gotta watch that, bro. I'm gonna go. I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty <laughs> high up there. If I ain't never heard of it, you dumb. Know what I mean? So and... shout out, shout out, Shaq. Dumb and Dumber was ridiculous. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, do I want to go worst thing about flying or best invention? Like, I'm gonna search that up. Titanic two, that's real. That's great. All right, let's bro. go. Worst thing about flying. <laughs> worst thing about <laughs> flying is holding in your farts. Safety soliloquy layovers flying <laughs> using the bathroom. Are you, are you that much of an upstanding citizen that you oh, don't fart on a plane? Plugged. The wallpaper even Plugged looks like ears. The I'm going plugged ears. Uh, I battled the ears. All right, Shaq, back on you. You you did both ears? What was your best invention? I didn't do that yet. I'm saving it. I don't it, know what the hell to do. You have... Okay, I'll say, I guess I can say, oh, I have best fast food item. Gotcha. Whew. Started to sweat there. Um, best fast food item. I didn't think about this until now. We got McNuggets, uh, two sandwich. Oh, the crunch wrap. The crunch wrap mm. from Taco Bell is literally the greatest mm. thing on earth. Mm. If you haven't had one, you should go to the nearest Taco Bell mm. and you can get vegan. You can get it with just beans. Um, you can add double cheese. You can dip it in mm -hmm. melted cheese. You can put a hash brown in there. It's really mm -hmm. crazy, the customization with the crunch wrap. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Yo, the crunch wrap is OD. But do you feel like dying the next morning like you do when you eat McDonald's, though? No, because it's, actually, with the it's, it's pretty no. it's pretty nutritious for your body. It has a bunch of tomatoes and vegetables and all that. that that's fat oh, uh, refried beans. And you can uh, switch tomatoes. it out for chicken to make it healthy for your body to go exactly. to Exactly. And we can't get into the we don't know what's being put into these things because air pollution is real, people. And you go outside and breathe it every day. Just letting <laughs> you know. Well, that's if true. you're eating in America, man, everything's processed. So it's like picking poison. Thanks. Crunch wrap was elite. Girl, it's on you. Oh, it's me. My bad. Uh, I'm going to go best fast food and go with burger. What I'm burger? Like, just burger. Like any burger. Like Junior Bacon, Big Mac. You know what I mean? Double. You know, nah, they made me. Cheese, they, no, he can. They made me pick. I mean, you could do burger. I mean, I think everyone. From where? Burger King, McDonald's, and go ahead. Big Mac. What are we I doing here? Listen, I mean, man. I we we, we allow the gray area. I'm a stick so in it. Care. No, yeah. what? <laughs> we didn't allow this bro, I'm really terrified of burger, unspecific burger. I'm not. Listen, that is one of the that is the fast food like item. Yeah, that's the, like it, French fry the, fast, is, the fast food yeah. phenomenon was founded on the burger. We'll, let the, we'll let the chat decide I because I don't understand. But we, we 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 had to hold Dub to these standards. So if you're all trying to find some loophole, the nastiest loophole was the best invention loophole. But sure. in AirPods is not the best invention after 2015. It's just not. But you want me to get specific? I'll go Big Mac then. I'll cave. That's fine. I'll go Big Mac. Respect. Light out, it's on you. Now, this one, again, is more of a personal thing. I just hated this movie because I was so hyped for it. It's uh, Venom, Let There Be Carnage. That movie was garbage. The only <laughs> thing that was good about that movie was the end credit scene. That's it. I literally sat there for an hour and 30 minutes, and nothing of that, like, I will remember, like, wow, that was amazing. Like, I felt like I wasted my time watching that movie. It was horrible. Well, bad experience. Dub, you have worst sequel and best app. Best app, Tinder. Oh, my. <laughs> um, After that, worst sequel. <sighs> I 
I don't know. I'm not really a movie buff. So I guess the one where I didn't like, there's actually three movies, but I didn't like The Hangover 2 like that. Like The Hangover 3, like The Hangover 1, but Hangover 2 just wasn't uh, for me. Light out. <laughs> Best actress. I guess I'll go Anne uh, Hathaway. Do you even know who Anne Hathaway is? Yeah, she's in The Dark Knight Rises. Yeah. <laughs> that, that kind of get him light out. <laughs> Don't pull that junk with me. I'm hey. light out. <laughs> I'm lighthouse. Don't try that I'm lighthouse, bro. <laughs> oh man. On you, Euro. Uh, worst sequel. I hate this best invention after 2015. Like, what? I kind of like mine now. <laughs> I'm literally Googling stuff that's been invented. Like, what has been invented? Oh. TikTok. Uh, what is it? There's no way. TikTok's already been chosen, though. Yeah, exactly. I would have picked TikTok for real. Yeah, yeah I would have, too. That <laughs> I'm tuning in. Uh, W's been on? tuning in. Your AirPods pick was when you started tuning in. <laughs> nah. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I got I got these headphones right here. What does that got to do with right anything? Now. That's what brought the idea. <laughs> yeah, that was what? weird. That's like <laughs> saying I'm not racist because I have black friends. <laughs> like that's your defense <laughs> that's crazy Jay Dub uh, is crying for Dale to come back <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy oh Ugh. man Who is it's, it on, it's, on, it's on Euro worst sequel oh my bad uh, worst sequel, I'm going to go with something that nobody ever heard of uh, also. Uh, the Mask 2. And I mean... Mm, Jim oh, terrible movie. The mask. Terrible. Yeah. Was Jim Carrey maybe, the mask in that? Maybe no. I was too young. Oh, the second one. Yeah, bad. Uh, yeah, that, yeah that, even as a kid, I hated it. When did that <laughs> movie come out? <laughs> Um, like early two thousands, before yeah. two thousand ten, I think it was probably before. like it might have been before two thousand five. So I was I like five years old when that movie came out, bro. Jesus. Um. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it was a really dumb Tinder. Cut the crap. <laughs> Cut the crap. <laughs> <dude>. <laughs> Cut the crap. Ugh, that's cringy. Yeah, I didn't really like Thor 2. I just watched that. I didn't really like that. I hope the third one is is better. I, I really don't like the Thors. I, I like the concept of it. I like Thor in every other movie besides his own. You like Ragnarok? Um, I like his girl. Um, uh, Ragnarok's the one where um, she gets infected and... and no, 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 that's dark, that's dark World. Yeah. Ragnarok is where so he Ragnarok's fights the Hulk. Three. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Ragnarok's three, right? Yeah. yeah he's Okay, all right. Let's that one is combat. that one is uh top three Marvel movies of them. Yeah, gotcha. you're okay. gonna like that one, I think. You'll like that uh, one for um for best invention. Um, <laughs> oh, man, do I want to get nasty? I'm gonna go with COVID vaccine for 100, please, because it allowed <laughs> everybody to get back outside. I don't care if you believe in it or not. It literally changed the landscaping of what the world was. We went from quarantine to a vaccine to now everybody can be back outside. So I'm happy for the COVID vaccine, and that would have to be the best invention. Yo, I'm taking... That's just as nasty, though. Sorry, I'm taking because... this... It is so nasty. It is really nasty. <laughs> because, you know, vaccinations have been invented. You know what I mean? But, yeah, yeah, but the, COVID, the, the, the COVID-19. When did COVID-19 uh, vaccine uh, came out? Last was that year? In the... 20... After 20... 2015, Dub. So I think we're... No, gonna... no, no, no. Wait, was that was that in the summertime? Or, like, was it... After the summertime, because I remember a lot of people was back outside. Because in the summertime, everybody was out. A lot of people. You trying to say that the vaccine had nothing to do with that? I think people just got tired of staying home. They was gonna go out regardless of 
the vaccine or not. Actually, yeah, here in Florida, they did not care. People were Florida, in Jersey, Southern, Southern California, outside of Los Angeles, they didn't care either, man. Yeah. Orange County. Once once they heard the lockdowns get lifted, they was like, nah, we about to go out. And it just gradually got worse. So are you guys trying to sit here and say that the vaccine doesn't fight COVID at all? No, 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 no. I'm no. vaccinated. I'm just I'm saying, saying that the in Florida, reason. they did not care. Yeah, they I'm just, saying that they, people yeah. was going to start going out regardless. Okay, okay, then I'll change my answer. Um, It helps Whoa. save lives, bottom line. Yeah. That's good. Uh, okay. I don't know what it does to you in a few years. I picked real right time now. voice translator. <laughs> well, that was a great response. Okay. Well, glad you guys were receptive I mean, to that one. I mean, if you travel, <laughs> it now. Yeah, if, <laughs> delete if you the sentence. <laughs> <laughs> if, exactly. If you travel, I guess that's fire. But what do you mean I if you travel? You could literally sit at your computer. It says that they have like a Skype translator. So, literally on Skype, you could be talking to someone across I, the world. I don't have friends across the world, so I mean. Well, light out. You don't have <laughs> friends. Let's be honest. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> Daddy. Wow. Pod on pod crime. <laughs> wow. Fire. Who won, chat? I, I I see that ZZ. I see that ZZ. Um. He tagged us. Yeah, ZZ, yeah, you he, don't want this smoke. I already buried you once. If you want to dig out of that grave and try your hand again, I'm I would I would love to see that. Z he's, also, he's, been, he's been trying to get back on. Also, how does this how would this draft do in players court where you only have 24 seconds to pick your pick? Oh it yeah. would be some funerals. Yeah. It, yeah, we, we should for sure that do a draft with, with would shot be nasty. I see. I thought we was going all 10. We only did what, like four or five? Four or five what? Yeah, we only did we only did three. Wait, three. when did a when did Alexa because come the person out? gets eliminated? I don't know. Ooh. Um okay. Well, anyway, Ooh. I think Shaq is taking it because there's a lot of a lot of Shaq I mean you never really know to the YouTube comments come on. Um I'm surprised the front door <laughs> didn't do as well as remember that <laughs> bomb. <laughs> yeah, that was miserable. <laughs> you wow. go hard too, man. Yeah, you were really fighting for that one. It was insane for me to try to <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Once I upload this to YouTube, I might go get McDonald's. That sounds fire. I want to go get a Crunch Mac. Yeah, go, Bro, get, a big I, get, a I, go get a Big Mac. Ta Taco Bell, I think, is closed right now. The one Whoa. by me. The one by Did me. Be? The one by me. Oh. Where are you living in the suburbs? What's I would going love to get a Crunch Wrap. Maybe <laughs> wait I'll, a minute. Maybe check. Yeah, wait. Is living in the burbs. Living in the burbs. <laughs> nah, bro. I my apartment gets broken into every other day, so it, it definitely matters. not in the burbs. Um, Nintendo Switch would have been a good one, but I literally have bought over five Switches for my whole family, and like it's a thing with the weird older flex. people like playing Mario Kart. It, I mean, they're what three, four hundred dollars a pop. Uh, <laughs> like I can't buy one, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 JD, you want one? I can have one. <laughs> right. <laughs> They're only three hundred, four hundred bucks. Why, why, why stop there? <laughs> um, but the switch is good. I just hate the lack of diversity. I hate that not too many people have it and take it serious as a council. But but like, that I'm Mario Kart because we we bought one too and we uh, was playing what during Christmas and like New Year's and stuff and that Mario Yo. Kart setup and like the. But Maybe it's like a holiday. Euro, got... Euro, let me change your life. You and the lady, you guys play the switch. Yeah, yeah. Overcooked. Bro. Overcooked and overcooked. That was my too. first game. I hate that my wife will play these stupid apps on her phone, but has no attention span for us to beat overcooked. Yo, overcooked. Granted, it's a lot going on. It's so fire. It is. Yeah, overcooked. And they have like yes. three or four. I'm addicted. We different ones. We downloaded it a couple days ago and we were we were having a blast, but I still haven't checked yeah, out the new Halo for um I know. love it. Yeah. It's good. I love it. Yeah. I played it actually last night. Overcooked is decent. When are we gonna have a Jackbox uh, episode of Player's Choice? Just the oh, the whole episode is Jackbox. No, because we can create a custom segment um for um Fibbage, I think. Fibbage three. <laughs> I think you can create a Fibbage where we can have the questions and bring the chat in. Everybody in the audience can play. That's why I only say that. Fire. All right. Well, anyway, I think it's about that time. Uh, light out. Thank you for joining last second. Wow. M make sure 
if you're not, we say this every single time, but you know, probably new people in here checking us out. Make sure you go check out New Rivals on YouTube. Uh, where are you guys stream right now? Poppy Solo? Uh, yeah, Poppy Solo on Twitch. Poppy yep. Solo on Twitch. Uh, I'm sure if you go guys go find New Rivals on all the social media platforms, you'll you'll figure out where they where they do everything, where they got everything going on. But make sure you follow New Rivals, follow Light Out Sports on all platforms. Um, does anyone else have anything to say before we jump on out of here? Uh, no, appreciate you guys. Um, amazing show. Um, yeah, I think it was a lot to to dissect. Um, I'll be happy when Dale's back to save Dub. <laughs> <laughs> y'all be safe out there, bro. Take it easy. <laughs> All right, y'all. Make sure you like, Licking comment, subscribe, do other things. Missy Dale. Peace.